the prince the prince bird is version Some exploring. I like I want the music to get louder. get up to that chunk then. I think we can, I just gotta be careful. platform and um fun platforming too cool mix of reaction and like setting up more platforms that you have to react to while moving and stuff you don't just see everything as it comes sometimes shit just appears or you have to kind of create stuff there's like almost a little bit of not puzzle but just like a little bit of thought you have to put into it you can plan out some some style some swag if you will Possible though. Why is this guy giving me the tiger?
is in this room. Loud, whatever it is. Loud and powerful. Oh, shit. It's just one of those games that has loud music, sadly. When you get in battles, I bet the actual music. I feel like it'd be louder. But oh well. This is always great. Cool. A unique fight over here. Game good, baby. Thinking about changing my super juice level 3. I find I just get a bit more out of... Uh... What's up, Sarah? Ooh, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm thinking about changing my level 3 because I just don't get it very often. Wish I had more buttons. I would say that's one critique for sure. I wish I had like 4 buttons. Instead of just 2. Oh well. I'm going pretty good. Game season's ramping up again. Well, it really hasn't taken much of a break. A little bit of January was slow, but that's just backlog time. so far. Hopefully they continue to make more of these. Or just give this team <laughs> more creative control to you making good shit. <clears throat> What's that? I do, but I'm not looking to commission anything. <clears throat> I definitely do love some art. Of 
play into peace right now. Oh, that's alright, I appreciate it. I go for more minimalist. I'm not looking for much, nor do I have the money to uh, do so anyway. So. I appreciate the offer. I'm good though. Alright, let's go ahead. Try to. Going for 100%, so I'd like to grab. Oh, that's alright. I'm okay. Appreciate the offer. But um, I'm streaming for 11 years and I haven't needed anything yet. So. <laughs> that's probably where I'll, I'll stand on it. Thank you, though. It's hard not to want to keep just killing every random enemy I see. <laughs> it's fun to do. But for the sake of speed, I'd want to keep moving. Let's grab a bomb here. That's alright, I appreciate it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything. <clears throat> Wouldn't want to waste your time. I am good. Looking to get back up though. Like these little uh, spikes flying at me. Are supposed to be from the snake? Does the snake just randomly shoot me? You have a good one. Good luck on the sails. See if we can fly over here. Oh, I need a some kind of grapple hook. Maybe that guy is a big anchor. Maybe we'll go that way. Got a lot of stuff to clean up with double jump.
The funny thing about the door-to-door -door salesman is you know <laughs> within two comments. Maybe three. That it's a salesman. I get a kick out of it. And I don't know if it's the same people every time, or if it's just like really obvious when you're disinterested in something and just faking it to try to sell yourself. <laughs> Maybe it's just 11 years of streaming. <laughs> I sent a message to Goat. I was like, what do you think? Salesman within like the third comment. It's like, I mean, I get it. It's probably a struggle out there for an artist or something. But, uh, the feigned interest and all that and the huffing it on the ground strategy. Kind of wasting people's time here. I'm out here doing my thing too, man. Right? Like, kind of like goofy. Let's <laughs> get a kick out of it. I mean, better than a bot, I suppose. That's funny. That was safe ground. It probably sucks a lot for. I mean, I'm I'm a small streamer, but sucks probably a whole lot for somebody who gets like absolutely no, you know, views from. Like, oh hey, somebody's you know here to wanna shoot the shit, talk a bit. I was like, nope, nope. Just, I mean, maybe a bot would be better, right? And then you just know you can just ban it. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't give people the time of day, but it's like, yeah, let them do their thing, be nice about it, and it cost me much. fine with the band though. It's one of those things where I think I said no enough times. It's <laughs> getting a little obnoxious. Oh, I thought I could jump through that. Interesting streamer shenanigans there. They just released, right? Um, how sexual are the chicks? How's it looking on that front? Tellier's usually just kind of like a little bit of leg, a little bit of, barely a little bit of skin. Only her eyes are really up to suck the peel. Mm, unless they can really make some kind of like they carve into some kind of niche with the chicks, or they have interesting gameplay. <laughs> Which, that's a gotcha, so it's pretty rare. I I doubt it's more than a year or two. It seems like one of those that would just die like any other one. I mean, most of your Final Fantasy ones don't last long. I mean, uh, maybe it's like Tails tier. But Tails has multiple gotchas, so... Wouldn't expect it to be very long. It seems like a dead on impact one. Most of those games, a lot, like a lot of people play Ryza, but I don't think, especially in the West, people really care about old ateliers. Ateliers. Well, it's going to be one of those that has less global appeal outside of a few characters, and unless they throw in a lot of sex appeal, I really don't see it, man. Because as far as your wholesome type of gotcha chicks, I feel like you already kind of got that with your Mahoyas. They barely t try to make anybody sexy. 
And let's be real, even though I can't say I care much for a Hoyo gameplay, it's probably way better than anything you're getting in an Atelier game. And I'm in awe. If I was a betting man, I'd say... Year 2 max. And I don't expect it to be a successful year. I feel like they'd just be riding it out. Yeah, I don't think so. The thing is, Atelier, Atelier isn't big. It is waifu appeal, but a lot of them are similar, which is why Ryza did well, because she was different and more hypersexual. So it's like, unless they have some kind of gameplay hook, I don't think the game them itself is really going to attract anybody to like, I mean, the people will try it, you know? People try other MMOs and other live service games, but they're going to go back to their usual ones, right? This is what I feel like on it. What else does that company make? Is that just like, they're just holding on by a string or something? Is that just how they make their money? I mean, you can't be making them once a year and it's like some passion project, right? Like, it's probably like, you know, I mean, people give shit to stuff like Call of Duty for that kind of crap. I mean, that's probably just making a buck. It's got to be the only thing they put out. I'm surprised they hadn't tried it already, but I, I don't see it doing well. Why would it? Right? They got somebody else to do it. It's not like side games. <laughs> Contract out your gotcha. Hell, that could be even worse. Uh, or better, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, they toned down Ryza a little bit from what I remember. And I don't know if that ended up well for those. I feel like you want probably someone... Who's willing to go max TNA? I don't mean that to be like some degenerate, but like that's just how it is with God is right. You need a certain amount of like sex appeal or attractiveness. And like I guess there's wholesomeness in a Tellier, but like I said, you already kinda have that. There's very safe, kind of like wholesome mass appeal. Mm -hmm. Attractive designs and stuff like Mahoya. I've come to enlighten you as promised. Oh, didn't Blue Reflection not do very well recently? Or maybe that was just critically. I've heard of Artanelico. I think I've heard of all of those, but I've never wanted to play any of them. I tell you a little bit. I feel like as far as like generic, like mid-budget JRPGs go, you'd imagine they're in the upper echelon. <clears throat> Not maybe quality, but just but like scope. Because there's so many of those. I mean, I don't know if you guys pay attention to a lot of that, but when I go through Gamefly, there's another dungeon crawler or shitty little JRPG coming out every few days, basically. 
not quite like you know, like your Mary Skelters, but like something kind of around that thing. And I feel like that's what Gus kind of reminds me of, but like a little higher quality, I suppose. Who knows if that's an accurate statement, but... And then them putting out so many DLCs and so many games... <clears throat> reeks of... It reeks of, I don't want to say desperation, but more they're focused on making a buck because I really unless they just have a lot of teams with a lot of creative control I don't see them putting out a game every year with that much DLC that kind of focus on the cash and it's anything other than a something without a whole lot of vision or focus on quality. Uh, I guess it's not like you can't do DLC and still have a quality game, but... It just reeks of like, on hard times, and I don't know if those are the kinds of games I'd want to be. I imagine being very great, but who knows? I haven't. I guess I haven't played any of them. So could be wrong on all fronts. feel I get Three more chests in the depths, really. They must be in areas I've already seen. But they're like in a corner I couldn't find or something. <clears throat> Maybe I should put on the uh, chest detector. It's not like I don't want them to stay in business either. I don't mean it like that. Like, I mean, you know, hopefully they can keep, you know. <laughs> I doubt they're doing like great, right? It's like hopefully they could you know, keep a roof over their head and maybe at some point make something maybe they feel a bit more passionate about if that's what they're after. But I just can't imagine like a yearly release series that's been going for so long, pushing gotchas and kind of formulaic JRPGs like. You just kind of like, is that is that what they're after? Is that it? I don't know. It costs two to detect chests. Oh yeah.
Where was the chest there? Oh, I could buy it. That's right. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't have anything. Probably worth experiencing. I guess that'd be a great Even my life cannot shine beyond the place of its beginning. Goodbye, Sargon. God, I find that voice annoying. I know it's like an AI voice, but Jesus. And greeting. Well. I'd rather get something more focused on, like, winning. Like, but I'm gonna leave the chest thing on just to help speed it up in case we miss something in a room. Arts and Elico came out a, a while ago, right? Welcome. Other than Blue Reflection, have they done much in the years and years? And, uh, of course, Atelier. Atelier, Atelier. I think they should really have let you have three different ones. So if I want to use a level three, I can. Or if I'm just feeling a two at that moment, or if I'm feeling like ranged, I can use it. Having two is pretty limited. Sadly. Good to see. You. I've seen our friends pass by one after another, but they seem different. I don't think I can trust my eye. I feel as though I. Don't understand any of it. Good to see. One more. <laughs> All right.
There's nothing like actually up there, up there. Why are they so quiet all of a sudden? Oops. They blinked. What the? That's kind of some bullshit. Think past. <laughs> yeah, let's pop out. It's hard to judge their depth sometimes. They're coming from the background. I need to find just a safe spot and sit there. I was like pre-putting one down and then it came from the top and I couldn't do it in time. Sort of the wall. First part stick a bit, man. Jesus, that was quick. A lot of memorization in this, man. You have to prep that, but it comes out like a bullet.
course it came from the bottom. I thought it might, but I was like, well, I'll take my chances and pre prep it. Jesus, really? This is like goofy long, man. <clears throat> Problem with something like this is it just, there's so many dead portions you're just waiting for. So you can find out what's gonna happen. That comes busting out at the speed of light. Jesus. You see one come out, so you're pre-jumped, and then it's like, oh, oh, it's fucked. I need to remember it's coming. It just takes so long, you start, like, losing focus. You're not even really thinking about what's coming anymore. Stand in the middle. Yeah, it's a little too long. I mean, I like it, <clears throat> but there's a lot of downtime. Wouldn't mind something this long where I'm actually just platforming, but. It's cool. I mean, it's still fun. There's so many times you want to do the beginning. I 
Yes, it is side shits. <laughs> Don't give you shit because I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm gonna wait even longer. I'm not impatient, I'm just waiting around, man. This is pretty fucking long, dude. To the trouble of making it harder than it needs to be. Oh, what's going on there? I knew they were gonna slap one in the middle like that, but... So many fucking spinning things and... This mode... It obscures... I, I, I would say it obscures a lot, but it gets a little distracting. The heavy vignetting and... Darkening the screen. I guess it makes a big difference when you're... Reacting to something real quick. You're not ready for him.
have to jump and then press it. I guess press it before the jump, dude. Jesus, dude. This is ridiculously long. What in the fuck, man? Good God. <laughs> this is like multiple minutes of going through this shit. This is way too much. Especially when there's a lot of memorization, man. When you're waiting through a lot of these early parts, man. Said I'd prefer just like a really long platforming bit. At least then I just not waiting around half the time. You end up waiting so much you start like drifting off. <laughs> you're like not paying attention and then you forget you're supposed to be doing something. It's about over, but here we are, man.
Sometimes it's hard to judge Dev too. That's not what happened there, but because he's not, this screen doesn't like move with him. The stuff on the left, you see it like an angle. When you're trying to judge from the top, coming down, it's easy to line yourself up in some like pixel games because there's no angle. That's just where it is, and that's where you're standing at. 3D, it's like. Can be a bit harder to line yourself up. So when that shit's coming down from the top really quick, I'm just kind of like... Very long section. I'd be surprised if this was the hardest shit in the game. Click the right stick in too, which is pretty fucking jinxy. I guess it's just not a muscle memory I'm used to hitting. In games that don't have a lot of camera controls with the stick. This is the stream. <laughs> attempt yeah those last ones are tough because they're dropping and I'm not quite sure to line myself up with the ground compared to where they're at just because the depth is a little I mean I don't think it's a problem with the game but it's just something that kind of incidentally is a thing that kind of happens with uh, I feel like 3d and shit We get an ugly color lilac, <laughs> white clothes. Cool, I guess. Why not? It was fun, but I guess it's probably a little, a little too long for what it was, but. How do I get to this? I thought this would be connected. It's like a hidden... Hidden exit. You can't move on this thing. So. Why is everything so quiet all of a sudden? I think the sound might have bugged out. Maybe that was for the best so we didn't have to hear the... Uh, Thank you. 
58%. Good game. Large game over. in there. How the fuck did we get in here? later. Does it mute the sound because the chest is around here maybe? Might be it. You can barely hear that chest sound effect. Sure there's no secret walls, man. Thank you. 
of frost effect. I mean, if you're like maybe prepping for a particular boss, it's not care too much. a fun fight or some kind of cool platforming challenge or NPC or something else hiding around too. And the thing is because the combat and that platforming is good enough, even if it would seem like a basic platforming challenger fight, it's just fun enough to like do the fight against stuff anyways. Not even a basic thing. I feel like it gets a little bit uh comes across a little better than it might in another game. Lower than I remember. Really. and head up this way. Oh, I want to know what this shit is. Guess while I'm here I could actually check these. What a blessing. Some super jump, then. I have no idea how to even see what's up in that top corner. I really don't think it's anything. We'll see. <clears throat> Come back another time.
There's some like other way down there. Already tried smacking all this shit. That's all that was in there was literally just a guy behind a grave, but just get in my way. It doesn't say there's a chest in here. Oh, there's something over there. It's a prophecy. There's some way to like you can kind of see it over there in the corner. Unless there's like some way to get through these. But eventually, there might be. I mean, there's a couple of gates I haven't been able to get to. Maybe you can just pass through gates eventually. Something that detects chests is useful, but it doesn't detect secrets, it doesn't detect spirits, doesn't detect collectibles, unless there is something like that later. We'll just have to keep our eye out. I need to use that more offensively. I tend to only really use it to just grab um, stuff and save it for walls to break. Which I kind of wish I didn't have to think about it as much. Because then I end up just not wanting to use the thing. Because I don't need to use it for combat. It's just kind of like fun to use it for combat. exploration. They usually put some explosives around where you need them, so it's not a huge deal. But... <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's really interesting watching videos and seeing screenshots. Uh, if you want to see like remakes gone wrong of um, Abe's Odyssey. The fresh and tasty, that's actually how I played the game originally. I didn't like it at all. It's like, I look and compare that version. This was before I really paid attention to that kind of thing. But if you look and compare that fresh and tasty version with the original, the art design is fucking slaughtered, man. <clears throat> it's not a very fun game, but I think with the better presentation I would have felt a lot stronger about it, even when I was you know, in high school. When I did play it. Why well, sometimes I worry about playing remakes and remasters. Not always doing like a shit ton of research. So a lot of the time, man, they're just fucking worse, dude. Shame. <clears throat> Maybe I should play some of the other Oddworld games. Second shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of this mid to late game platform is getting a bit more extreme. But, uh. It makes sense to be here, though. So this is the people who made Rayman Legends and stuff, which is a lot of crazy ass platforming. They might have done it a decade ago, but I imagine there's some similar talent still there. Sadly, Michael Ansel's left, but... Oh well. Prince of Persia, so kind of fit well.
Mm. What the? Mommy. I don't think I have the healing for this. Oh, the fucking self distract him. Are these all gonna be mimics? <laughs> Just the one, dude. I do love me a good mimic, man. I gotta say. She didn't have a whole lot of health. miles. That's a fucking sound, man. I guess it's just supposed to be quiet night. Connected. For what it's worth. Guess I haven't really re explored any of this shit. Oh, fun little bit though. I like there's like new enemies in a lot of these parts that you only see at the clones. Like I've never seen those guys before.
teleporters. Not sure. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 gets pretty hardcore. That's probably why it's one of my favorites of the bunch. See what we can do. Check for them their secrets. important collect We have to get there from like down here somehow. I don't know where this entrance is. I'll detect the chest in here, but it might be the area beneath. some way to just like displace yourself through grades eventually like an upgraded dash or something like a warp dash Myself, where it's too late. First one's his instrument, mash base, and I'll pick. <clears throat> oh, like his other versions, maybe. I 
the alchemist was the jailer, was he not? Hidden rooms in here. This is where I started to discover that there's hidden rooms on the second floor of ship. <clears throat> Eye opening event. Have to go up and around then. Fuck. Got our choices. I'm gonna go this way then warp back. Let's find a warp. Don't see anything juicy there.
Muy. Uh, get into this room. Like open it up somehow. switchies maybe that's what's going on in that other place bro. some hidden switches or something so long alone just waiting so many strange sounds you know that's just <clears throat> I mean I like having the detector Wait till we get another notch. Truly, I will. I knew the king before King Darius. What was he like? Very different than Darius. He enjoyed war. Well, I understood King Darius to have a sharp mind for strategy. Yes, but he didn't enjoy war. There is more success with treaties than spears.
apple is too. I'm gonna go till we find a uh I should just be better. To die, we'll pop back up. We took you in and shaped you into an immortal. Varum saw promise. You turned against us. Varum is driving a wedge between us. In a way, you did Persia a favor. What do you even mean? Famine, drought, unrest among satrapies, loss of Persian soldiers. Queen Tamiris's bloodline is unfit to rule. The people deserve better. The people deserve someone like Varum. Only the White Lion can restore the pride of Persia. Come back to reason, dignity, and purpose, Sargon. Menelaus, wait! Oh, buddy. You got the wrong guy. I will not stay and talk to you. I will immediately leave and say I was right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how you win. Say I win and then leave. Refuse to listen. Exactly, dude. Arguments one on one, dude. Damn, he really goes flying. I need to just shoot him straight to the left. Meet me outside the flagpole after school. I'll beat you up. And I just don't show up. Couple paths here. Shortcut. 
I'm gonna dust. How's uh, CS2 been? Numbers pretty good on that. It's still pretty active. Thoughts have been on it. I know there's a little bit of hubbub after it came out, but <clears throat> I mean, you bound to change a game after it's been out that long. There's probably going to be some negative, even if it's deserved or not. But I don't really hear anything too bad. It's not like it's Overwatch 2 or some shit. This music needs to be way louder, man. The combat music is super loud. But... Oh yeah? Well, you guys have put a shitload over the years, so... Not too surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. I feel like the kind of person who could play a single game that much probably gets pretty fucking spicy at like even the most minute of changes. fine. Everybody got accustomed to it. That's kind of how it feels like a CS2. That I haven't even heard that much hubbub about CS2. I mean, I, I just hear like negative, but I don't hear that much. Probably means it's just fine. Right? The maps, they're not dark and grimy anymore. I'm like, well, maybe they wanted a new aesthetic or maybe they're trying to keep shit more readable. Who knows? anything, I'd want it fresh a little bit after all those years, but I'm also the kind of guy who wants to play new shit all the time, so. <clears throat> oh yeah. I needed the kick in the ass. Seem not surprising that I would be making it for a reason then. I really wish the camera wasn't shit there. Usually the camera's been pretty great other than like some depth perception here and there, but 
Just like blind grab him out. <laughs> yeah. I imagine the argument is that we'll find making sure you know, the strategic points in the darkness you could use or having or if I read people in the dark they're part of the skill or <clears throat> I mean I get that argument maybe to like a small extent but I don't think it's a problem at all to swap the maps to be more clear if for anything just the fucking sake of variety at that point But my thing is like, if people were just to raise the brightness anyways on like a dark map just to see everyone anyways, it's like, well, might as well just fucking have that be part of the game and have it not look like dog shit. I don't know if people do that. I mean, I know they do it in speedruns and other competitive shit. <clears throat> I never took any CS maps to be that dark anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Very strategic, dude. Nice even playing field in case somebody just wants to play the game and not have to fucking do some goofy gamma settings bullshit. Peace out on this. This room we might be able to fuck around, but I don't think we're supposed to without the like, grapple or whatever. That's what it looks like. Be a way to speed up the room.
the end of that line. <laughs> It'd be one thing if they were to make the argument, you know, they're trying to like appeal to like the Overwatch Valorant Fortnite community by having brighter, more simple like contrast kind of map. But to just say it's Valorant is just really stupid because it's just there's a lot going on in a game, right? A lot more than just the color of its map. Oh, <clears throat> a single teleport up through there. Kinda sucks. I'm gonna have to go through everything again to grab one. Oh well. We're coming here like way later. I mean, they probably partly are trying to appeal to Valorant players like that. They also took some other good ideas from Valorant. The thing is, like, you can still, like, yeah, appeal to stuff and not ruin the game at its core. Or, you know, make it a game at its core and not appeal to the original players and stuff, right? Like, if it's still 99% CS and gameplay and in focus, like... Something like part of the visuals and stuff. I mean, it's not like they're changing it to like fucking cookie dough, Mario, you know, visuals or some shit like that. <laughs> it's just like a slightly cleaner, more modern kind of aesthetic. Oh, that's good, weeb. Well, their fucking bizarre advertisements and marketing has been pretty odd, but at least they got that fucking part right. So people, so if you actually buy the wrong weapon, you can sell it back instantly. That was not CSGO, it was introduced in Valorant, Valve added it in CS2. It lowers the skill ceiling because you can <laughs> click accurately in the buy menu. Who cares how quick somebody gets? Don't you have to wait anyways a little bit to get prep? Who cares how quickly you get through the buy menu? Like if people misclick, especially a newer player, let them sell it, dude. Oh, 
quite get that. Seems kind of just like goofy elitism. Is that what CS is all about? Buying the stuff in menus? Is beyond these no. Palace doors. <laughs> you still have to make the choice. It's not like it's automated, like the game tells you the best time to buy everything. From there, you will have access to the Hall of Divination. The way is impassable. Seems more like a quality of life thing. Oh, hmm. Well, it won't be for future, Sargon. <sighs> Yeah, I still think it's stupid as fuck. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, here's a non-spoiler part of the game. Huh? Literally every single part of the game is spoilers. Even if I was just fucking walking in a corner, if you saw all my party, you would know certain party members exist, or will exist past a certain point. It's just kind of a bizarre... Thing to say. It feels like them trying to like allow streaming but still have like the edge in some kind of way. <laughs> like you still have to adhere to us somehow, well, even though it makes no fucking difference. I feel like marking spoilers is more for the person uh, who hasn't played the game yet. Oh, maybe that's just me. Yeah, they might say at the beginning it's spoiler or something. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Sargon. You want like yeah, like a non Lend me your eye of the wonder <clears throat> a review that doesn't actually fucking tell you everything. Maybe informing a purchase. Well, these are actually pretty short distances. They do not connect. There's still a lot of lower city I'm missing. It must just be hiding around or in the other area. <clears throat> right, yeah. I wonder if actually doing something over here does something. <clears throat> I don't know. That's like the left wing. Yeah. Which is a solid way to do it. <clears throat> depends. I, I don't... I mean, it, it depends on the person. Like, I mean, if you're you're watching a review to, like, inform a purchase or something, that kind of thing's cool. I think if you're looking for, like, a deeper critique, um, I tend to not care for the reviews that kind of just, like, will generally kind of tell you just, like, what happened in the game every step of the way, or just, it's like a... Almost like commenting like a little playthrough or something. Well, that's not exactly the case. <clears throat> I get it for running a YouTube channel. You don't want to have like full spoilers from Go. I, I prefer the full spoilers from Go. Because I'm usually only watching shit that I've played or want to see the critique about. So you can kind of run into that with reviews. Reviews that don't like dig maybe deep enough because they're trying to like explain the entire game for two thirds of the video. 
and then they'll have a spoiler section and that'll be as deep as they do. But I guess that just depends on the quality of the reviewer. But yeah. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's a bad way to do it, I'm just saying. I'm just thinking about reviews in general. Kinds of like... I like man. I guess that's that's not, that's how Mandalore does his. Right? I enjoy his videos. Digs into stuff in a somewhat non-spoiler way, and then kind of hits you with the story. I think it just depends, I guess, on how you do it. More than really. <clears throat> I gotta get a new ability. Specific structure. I don't think I explained what I meant very well. <laughs> this might prefer his style review, I guess. Not to say one's like really bad or something. <clears throat> I mean, there are bad reviews. But... down there. What the? That's a little odd. Jump up higher, but I feel like without the grapples, kind of no point. There might still be shit to grab, I guess. Oh, there's a Xerxes. Oh, 
man. Easy tiger. Chomp. Bub. Guy. We're gonna have to like walk back through. Feel like we're gonna have like a little boss. Get an item or something. a shortcut I could just pop through. Let's just keep going. We'll see. All the goons. Why are they showing me this? Not the first time I've seen that. Two of these things? That marks the room it's done, but it's not. the rooms or something. Maybe. So, yeah. So it was an inspiration. There's a lot of big giant crazy mechanical things in Soton for sure. Wait, no, let's go here. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to have the grapple to continue on here? And you can like grab shit from really far away. 
<clears throat> Am I just supposed to leave? I feel like I should go beat this guy up. Maybe he's got some tech for me. I could go left. I still haven't found a fucking teleport, man. I'm pretty sure there's one up there, too. through the bottom here. I guess I could. There might be a way, but... I feel like it's very possible that... Missing something. I said, but I'd really like to get a warp. If there's no warp around here at all, I guess there's one here. See what's over here then. pass through bars at some point? There's not been many areas that would like fit with that but maybe <clears throat> We can dash through like bars eventually.
Who knows, man? I'd really like to be a uh, fast gravelly. I can start going down this, but unless it's an elevator, I can't do this. There's some secrets in here. Let me open this up and then we'll come back in. There's at least one soft spot. Behind breakable shit. Ugh. I have not been breaking everything. chain noises but it ain't moving. Travel above me then. My God. Fancy. To something else for a bit. Not really a big deal either way. Let's see what's in here.
jump back thinking I was gonna get fucked there. It was fine. What's down here first? Both pretty tricky, whatever we're doing. platforming with the rewind your place but not cooler than anything the Sands of Time trilogy had. You just slow down time occasionally in that. There's a Xerxes in there. I was not ready for that. We were like dropping. Bit more than just jumping, right? I got some clever rewind and like it feels smooth. It also takes like a, an ounce of thought. Makes it a little bit more spicy, I guess. My problem with that little area is you kind of need to like make a plan, but it's a really hard plan to make on the fly. You kind of have to redo this part a lot of times just to kind of get down there and take a peek. Ignore the ones on the left side until I'm coming back up. Luckily, though, even if you do have to redo these parts, it's not a big deal because they're entertaining. I 
actually, how the fuck do we do that? But <clears throat> a little trickier than it looks, man. You can't reverse out. Oh. That'll work. I just gotta be careful with it. I think that's what they're wanting from me. I and mean, they do start you out that way. It's just a little safer to not do the double jump. Well, you could do so many of those, like, rewind jumps over here, you're like, oh, that must be what I have to do, but... Cannot rewind with the Zerk, please. That'd be a little too easy if you could. Jumping too low. I think I'm in the range, but then I won't be. I guess it's good practice. My paraquest is fine, yeah, I was warned about it. I just did it the minute I finished it. Um, and then I got my uh, my money from him and the amulet. I mean, I probably would have ran in there right away to the right and done it immediately, but it was good to know, just in case, for sure. I 
Let's put it by B. Uh, did your 100% get fucked up? Yeah, pretty shit that that's in there. We have had a few bugs, but overall it's been a pretty great time. <clears throat> yeah, there's been no updates on the PlayStation 1, so... I've heard that some of it's been patched on other versions, but... I guess they've been slow on this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least you got 100% in spirit. I don't know what kind of upgrades or stuff you got. Repair it mission screwed too. Oof. Yeah, I hope they get that fixed. A fun game to 100%. Oh, no shit. Really? You have to restart the game for the patch to work. It must have been a pretty nasty flag that I raised them if they can't fix it. Damn, man, that sucks. That's really fucked up. Christ. You think you'd just be able to, like, reset the quest, but I guess since it's, like, halfway into the quest. No, that sucks for the 100 percenters for sure. We'll see. Too low, man. I could do that one with just a rewind. But the other ones I need to know. I don't need to be as risky there. Still bugged. Like you just got the bug again, or consist between playthroughs or persist? Yeah, I've had a few little minor bugs, but no, uh, nothing like that. The Xerxes, but I'm afraid. After patch. Wow, that sucks. It's a shame that little things like that get in the way of. It's a pretty great game. I mean, it feels so polished and smooth, but then you get a couple of random 100% bugs like that. And really, man, I've played a lot of Metroidvanias, and you don't see that kind of bug very often. That fucks 100%. I mean, it'll be gone, I'm sure, in a week or two, but still. Yeah. Oh, I thought I collected it. I thought I saw it collect. I guess not. <clears throat> Need to make it back through. Not using the rewind all the way. It's safe on the way back down. About the next second. Oh, we had it there. Yeah, that's really fucked. I mean, I've had some situations like that in games. 
when I have to replay like a massive chunk multiple times from the same bugs or yeah to do most of a playthrough I mean it might be worth just waiting but yeah that kind of sucks you just pick the game up and they're ready to rock Yeah, it's a cool skin. I was rocking the the crimson one for a while. Didn't like the one where he turned pink. <laughs> he looked like he was sickly or something. So yeah, I'll just uh, rock this one for now. I'm not buying any DLC just to look like the warrior with the prince. Not into that. The white hair I did like, yeah. If you want to stand out, that's definitely the one to go for. It's definitely the most noticeable. It is the first playthrough, yeah. Everything you're seeing is new to me. Pretty tricky. Should have rested at that fucking uh, spot. It's a cool platforming bit, but it's a little tricky for sure. I'm glad they have some solid, like, tough side shit, though. But they have such cool uh, mechanics and smooth movement, it'd be a shame to not use it for anything. And I've enjoyed the difficulty of the game. It's not, like, too much, but it's, uh... It's enough to keep it pretty engaging. I think I'm low enough to hit the fucking platform. You can get pretty low and still nail it. I think I'm just too afraid to hit the spikes. I like just barely want to touch the uh, the red part. Yeah, I hope Ubisoft continues to kind of like fund smaller budget more actual vision <laughs> quality control kind of games They're just shit now and now a lot of the usual cookie cutter open world shit
I think I want to handle this. So close. I could probably drop there and grab that one. Wasn't thinking about it. Uh, that was my last rest. Okay, that's fine. There's a warp there. Not a big deal. I do think save warping is pretty useful. There's not always like a teleport everywhere you want to be, and there's not always like a quick way to get back. Or not save warping, death warping. Getting back's pretty tricky. Yeah, so in the story right now, I'm pretty much, uh... Yeah, I'm at the quest to get the four Celestial Guardians. But I've been cleaning up the map whenever I can. I got a lot to clean up right now. A lot of double jump stuff that I just got to. I haven't had the double jump for more than a few hours. I got it yesterday morning before work. Yeah, we actually went through all the, uh, not all of them, but Sands of Time Trilogy and shit before this came out. And I say I wasn't a big fan, man. I, <laughs> that's not... I played the original Sands of Time a couple of years before, but we did Warrior Within in 2 so. This one's definitely been my favorite of the Prince of Persia games so far. Cool to see the, uh, I don't know how to say their name, Montepellier, Montpellier, devs are actually doing something again. Not that they weren't before, but I mean, it's been 10 years since Rayman Legends, dude. If you guys haven't played Rayman Origins or Legends and you like the platforming in this, play those. It's the same people, well, some of the same people. Really godly platformers. It's your first Prince of Persia? Cool, well... The only ones that are even kind of like this are the originals, but they're they're pretty old school, so they don't they're not as smooth. I like this better than the Sands of Time trilogy. But I guess if you don't, people don't know. It goes Prince of Persia, and then there's like the Shadow of Flame. They're like 2D cinematic side scroller platformers. I don't remember if there's any after that. And then you get the Sands of Time trilogy, and that's the one everybody knows. Um, I like these better than those for sure. Those are 3D platformers, but they're really janky and rigid and the action sucks. Um, they were cool for the time, but yeah, I, I much prefer this, yeah. And the reboot's kind of shit. And the sequel reboot thing is pretty shit. <laughs> thought I touched it, man. I was like, I wanted it, I thought. But... Which is a little bit bigger of a hitbox, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's definitely been the most fun one I've had. I've got no bone to pick with the uh, Santa Time games. I just, I just did not. It didn't hold up or just never clicked in the first place for me. It was cool talking with them and talking about it with people. jump out of that. That was cool seeing people get into the series with this. Yeah, I mean there hasn't been a Prince of Persia game in like, 10 years or something. Yeah, 
I don't know. I think there's just been such great action games and great platformers. But there's not really any particular thing that the Sands of Time games really do that feels like great. Other than, I guess, have like a kind of combination of all those things, which I mean, there's stuff that does that. Too, so. Has it been 13 years? Yeah, a long fucking time, whatever it, whatever it is. For sure. I feel like I dropped down and touched that thing so many times. The read on it's just kind of wonky. You really gotta go lower, I guess. I don't know if it's because I'm looking at it at like a slight angle. I'm pretty sure the camera still pans in there, so. Compared to like a 2D game where if you're on like the side of a room and it doesn't pan with you, there's like a little depth perception you gotta kinda do because you're looking at it from like, you know, left and right and shit. Compared to like something more pixel focused. Oh, there's like a cooldown on it, no wonder. <laughs> okay, so we need to get it when we go in there. We could probably just go in slow. But that sucks there's a cooldown. That was pretty low, that was a low drop. Oh well. Hitting all the wrong buttons. That took too long. <laughs> I was getting too goofy, I guess, man. Let's see what the other one is. I need to fall. And then jump back around the corner there. Oops, I thought I was gonna smack the corner there. I kinda fell underneath it. Another corner bop. Did not see there were spikes on this side, I wasn't paying attention. I think that one will be a lot easier though. We're just gonna have to make our way back across. It's just Xerxes down here, huh? I mean, it's for the 100%. Not much of a reward though for some tricky platforms. So many Xerxes are just used for charms you probably won't want to upgrade. And I guess I'll upgrade them all anyways. I don't know if that counts for 100%.
I need to come back around there. I'm not sure if I can make it all the way. is when you like sometimes come back around the wall you can't actually see the other side of the wall because it's coming all the way to the foreground so if you're trying to just react on the fly to stuff sometimes you just like don't see what you're supposed to do like i'm supposed to kind of go around that little out little lip you just have to like remember it's there it's kind of just a thing with 3d i don't think it's been a problem except in situations where you really are just kind of like on the gun so if you don't remember it's there I don't think it's really a problem anyways. It just lends itself a bit more to memorization instead of reaction. When I got this skin it was similar. There's like some parts at the end where it's like there's shit drop and it's like kinda you kinda line yourself a little off sometimes. Alright, so we got one more chest here, one more collectible. That collectible could be fucking anywhere, but this probably where the chest is. Let's go ahead and rock that. Yeah, I was not big into the uh Sands of Time trilogy. I love 3D platformers and I love action games, which, which is why I like uh, this game so much. It's not a 3D platform. The uh, Metroidvania and like how it kind of borrows from uh, more character action games. I really like a lot of smooth combat, a lot of style and combos if you want. It's not quite like dummy bag punching like the MC, but it's a nice mix of in between that and like a bayonetta. Well, there is combo game, but there's also a lot of evasion and stuff. It's just smooth, man. It's good. Alright, another one of these. These are tricky, man. And this one being optional probably is going to make it even trickier. Thirty seconds. This is gonna be something. This one I only left open for like a millisecond. Otherwise, I think I might have been fine.
Or do I have to make it all the way back at some point? There is a door the top opens up. Can you even open this without... Maybe you're supposed to run it all the way back? supposed to run it all the way back. With this guy then go in there and then the middle one just walks through the middle. There's nothing in the way. Okay, that's gonna be spicy. If I could just walk up. I guess I could just warp it, too. That would work. I don't need to walk it back, I can just warp. I'll do that. You can exit it? Oh, I didn't realize there was a reset button. I gave myself enough time at the top. I know. Uh, I forgot you have to actually stand on them at the top too to get the middle open. I was pretty much just giving myself enough time to walk. And that was it. Just try to bust ass. Yeah, I didn't give myself enough time. Rip. Not the right idea, it just takes a long time to set up. Thank you. 
So that was enough time. One of those might be a little dark. collectibles missing here? It could be anywhere, man. I don't know if there's a collectible sensor or some kind of thing that tells you where everything is at some point. <laughs> it could be anywhere. We'll figure that all out in the end, man. Just in case that's important. Thing is, I think you can get collectibles from breaking shit. I don't always break everything I see, so. I wish there was a way to return back to the main base at least. Speed shit up. Not gonna have to hoof it to here. We have a lot of double jump areas to fuck with. I remember right. This was a double jump puzzle. A lot of grapple ones, actually. Yeah, when you're at the fast travel. Just not like anywhere. You gotta get to the fast travel first. I just mean it's fine, it's fun to move around. Yep, I have a over here. My liver's exploding. Kinda bothering me a bit. side of things. Should have a nice fast travel here. Extra health is good. We could go for like a boss or something. I mean, I just imagine there's a boss up here. I keep going this way. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. We'll, we'll go clear out that other shit later. Let's go this way.
It's in this corner. How much was Dread on release? I know this is pretty pricey for your average Metroidvania, but I feel like we're more of like a double A, like 3D kind of polished one. Actually cheaper than Dread was. <laughs> Isn't Dread like full price? I mean, it's Metroid Dread's an awesome game. It's totally worth it. If you like this, you should definitely play Metroid Dread. I was thinking... I probably, I would probably prefer if Metroid Dread was more of this price. I mean, it's a pretty comparable experience. It's definitely longer. Ingot, very good. I'm dashing a little too soon. The Virgil DLC. That'd be kind of cool, huh? Maybe they will. Depends on how much they take after Devil May Cry. The Katana Man DLC. I know the world's so, uh. I feel like set up for Sargon, though. He would have to be pretty much identical outside of just combat, unless he got his own areas or something. Which would be cool. A little mini campaign maybe, or remixed. yourself through bars at some point. I'm seeing a lot of bars. Don't know for sure. But... Mm -mm. I even have full health. To me, Varum killed Hassan. I won't believe anything you say. How can you say that? Varum is betraying Persia. We are warriors so that one day others don't have to be. Varum <laughs> is the king to end all wars. A king would not kill his subjects. I hope they're making another Help DMC. Me stop him. Varum has an ideal that is bigger than you and me. That is a fucking cock, dude. You're giving me no choice. Aren't they supposed to be music? I don't know if this charm I have like breaking the music or something. It might be. I'm 
so distracted because there's no music right now. Something is wrong. Nick has a BGM dude. <laughs> Favorite. And there's like this atmosphere music in the back, but that's probably not right. Years, all those battles. I don't think we're supposed no to. I think I need to start turning off bomb. the. Uh, <gasps> The chest locator thing. I think it's killing sound for some reason. Oh, I just had an Instagram. Oh, I'm probably just dead. Oh, What is up with the music, dude? I feel like it's this amulet, man. Like it's killing the sound. Let me look it up. This is not the first time I feel like I've had this problem. No, uh, it's just whatever is a hard, just one up from standard hero. Right, um, what is wrong with the audio? I've got to figure this out. The enemies do 1.5 times damage. Environmental effects are 1.5 times um, as strong, and then I, my athro drains. Prince of Persia. Hmm. I mean, people are having audio bugs, but I don't know what's... I can do to solve it. What's the closest checkpoint? Not too far away, but...
Those little bombs cut the fuck off. I don't think it's supposed to have like slow droning at <laughs> atmosphere music. I feel like I'm getting the wrong version of the fight right now, man. You can hear the atmosphere music sitting in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the genie man. <laughs> the genie plays. I'm only hearing all these insane sound effects with no music. I think it might be this amulet. I need to start turning this shit off, man. I don't have problems finding chests usually. Turn it back on later. That was a fun fight. It's cool. I think it was more ranged fight. Do a lot of juking and weaving between shit. I didn't want to push you the rewinding was a lot of fun. I only relied on this bow because I was weak. A true warrior needs no weapon. Like you can hear it. I never time. wanted this fight. Me neither. Sargon. Uh, what? Jerry did, dude. He just fought him. I feel like it's this King Jasmine thing. When Elias dead because yeah, of me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why does it have to be this way? Yeah, that's how you get through beads. Oh man, we gotta get the Kamehameha out to end. A crazy counterattack. Oh, I love counterattack. 
Encounter unstoppable. Only on the ground. Yeah, something's wrong with the audio. Then. Well, let's uh, hear what it sounded like. Menelaus fight. Lost throne. 4K, whoa. There's like music. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting like shittier fights. I mean, it's a fun fight, so it's fine, but. It's not like it's some crazy song, but it's definitely got some energy, right? Yeah, the audio is really fine too. Oh, it's got a little Spanish guitar. Yeah, we just got nothing, dude. I feel like I've had some music problems ever since I turned on this chest thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go turn it off after this and reset the game. What's up, baby? to a different outfit for fun. Back to Crimson. We can't really fix my charms until we get a save point. Let's clean this shit up and then we can figure it out. How are we doing the ripper? How many uh, Ghibli movies have you seen? Spirited Away is probably the most well-known one. And I do like it, it's good. Dream's going great. Going just fantabulous. Join me some Prince of Persia. Alright, let's take this chest detector off. I don't really want to have to, but I feel like it's causing issues. Maybe. Going four hours to death. It's been chill. Somebody try to, you know, tell me some art and all that, so hopefully that doesn't happen again, but okay. It's tough out there. I get it. Yeah, four hours. Plan on going for a while. Let's go this way.
Oh, cool. Have fun with your stream. Yeah, there's a weird sound. I think maybe it's, I keep hearing it. I'm going to turn it off and on. I'm an American. I can hear it in my stoner sounding voice. <clears throat> I'm an AI. Who's all an AI in here? Texas is pretty cool. I now look after your crash too easy. Is that what they told you? What's that from again? Why can't I? Was that, was that Metal Gear? What was that? I feel like I should know it. Oh, Krauser. I was like, I, I was like, I hear the gruffness in it. I can't quite place it. I just got off with. Well, there, we didn't even hear Krauser talk in uh, separate ways. Talk too much about my my personal what's going on. I appreciate it though. This is just a shortcut. Yeah, I'm down for it. Well, you can throw your teleport now. Probably a pretty useful ability. passion to have. Hey, some oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm to wonder if it's AI at this point. It doesn't two in one day with the same setup feels like it's not even a real Maybe? I don't know. Are there that many people running around with the same plan? And it just happens to sound like a bot at the beginning. And it always, you just, you just wait for the art to come out. You're just like, okay, when do we get into the art, the commissions? We 
We've been doing this for 11 years, man. You can tell just by the first two comments of somebody coming in your chat what the hell's about to happen, usually. <laughs> I do wonder if we're like in an advanced stage of like advertising, if that was even a real person or not. Right, so we can go through some of these gates now. That's why I'd like to. Why does I have no warp? Shame we didn't get to hear the music for the mental eyes. I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't hearing a lot of the music recently. Because of that bug. Because now we got the music popping and shit. Well, luckily, you know, it's not hurt the game any. the Prince of Persia playthrough brother. Fellow Metroidvania lover, right? I think there's some loot over here for me to get. I don't think I needed anything crazy. I mean I took the papers. Yeah, just double jump. Right after Zelda. Ooh. That'll be cool. I need to war back and upgrade this. Probably a nice steady bit of extra damage. Catch him out ahead of time too. You can just use arrows too, but it's kind of cool having like a big wave go out. I believe this probably. I need to be using that more. Like I said, I'm so used to just using it for puzzling and exploration that I've not really been using it so much. I bet you could have caught that guy's arrows. I don't know about his unblockable ones, but I'm sure you could catch some of them. There's one more chest in this area. Might be here. Pretty sure that was a double jump too. Also this. Some of these are going to be like money or whatever. I want to put on that guy's super hit, the super parry. Can even parry unblockables. That's a level three. There was something that made your uh, chakram charge quicker. Which I feel like now that I could warp to these, I would kind of want that. But we'll see. 
I mean, it's still pretty quick to pop out. This is a hundred percented. Means this is probably just money. Well, I am in the area. I suppose I could just go to the next boss. Oh, yeah. Might be an area where I'm not. out. He's not supposed to be there. He's supposed to have jumped down and then introduced himself and then that he's gonna be out here. So. I mean, this is like a something different. Cool. Yeah, Kino Land, that's cool. When you come out of that, you actually. He's got like a special attack set up. Oh no, I think it's the usual one. It just looks cool and stuff. Welcome to Kino. Why does the big fat goofy guy get this place, man? Remember Redfall had the time frozen wave in it? You remember how lame that was? <laughs> the game. <laughs> Do you remember Redfall at all? Like the answer probably would not surprise me. <laughs> That's where we're at. Redfall's so forgotten that we're thinking <laughs> of dagger fall now. the new arcane game that came out. That was the co-op multiplayer game in like the suburbs or whatever. That was horrible. That everybody hated. Ship. 
Pirates cut trees. Any trees to patch up their boats. They don't care what's whack whack and what's not. <sighs> cut a whack whack and it grows back. Did you know that? I know that now. I hid below deck, not wanting to fight. So here I am. I guess you know that now too. extra style things you could do if you want to get really advanced. Motion seller. <laughs> Devs. This is what we want. So it's the same as the other quite but it costs another slot to use because it's slightly stronger. What do you mean? Oh, like a new weapon? Well, like a slingshot into like an arrow or something? I mean, it depends on if they have any different kind of like use. Oh, you mean like if there's like a second gleaming lion plus one? Better just to upgrade it, yeah. It's good to know a trade vanity as well because that can give you some kind of like reward from enemies or small collectibles you can use towards stuff like this. Yeah. I was like, where's my void blade, dude? I want to upgrade void blade. I don't like that as much. Unless the builds are really interesting to optimize, but. Sometimes it's nice just to get an actual upgrade, man. Gonna suck using the exact same shit the entire game just because the costs don't add up. Does it come back quicker now? Oh damn, this shit comes back real quick. And it's stronger too. Cool. A lot of these things I'd be fine to get. It kind of has that like Hollow Knight problem where like a lot of these are just like more power on sword attacks. It's like, well, why the fuck wouldn't I get that? But you get quite a few options. I've thought about getting rid of Blade Dancer. <clears throat> you can get three extra attacks in your combo, but usually enemies don't give a fuck. But there's stuff like time bubbles and berries and shock waves if you destroy your teleports, which I'm guessing you could combo and stuff. These are kind of just situational. 
health after parry is probably pretty cool. I think stuff like being able to like suck in juice from afar or whatever probably could just be an upgrade. That's one of those. I don't know why you would ever spend a single notch on that. But other than that, it's been cool. It's not the game's strongest feature, but I do like that they're upgradable and there's a little bit of build choice there. And some stuff that actually changes the gameplay. Like, that feels pretty good. And I could weave it in in a cool way. The prophecy. get in here before. Oh no, never mind. That explains that. But this room is definitely new. Let's probably go talk to the Xerxes uh, vendor. If he's got something fresh for us. Good style too. It's like effective damage, but also utility and style. My great. Right here, man. Was there another one hidden in the wall? I'll go back and try it. Could be. Master Varo. Fucking cock, dude. We are in jelly here, and we're not even, not even the fucking Sargon's relationship with this dude. Roger. Do we have the lore on that person? Fucking Roger. Not that great. Yeah. I 
so it's just an exit. Or nothing else over there. What did I get over there? Oh, it's just an exit. Okay. Just let's see drop now. Yeah, I didn't see it before. Keen eye. No, I hate art, actually. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in this stuff. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> the way it worked out. That way. I should just keep trying anyways. The cool thing about this is you could shoot it up and down too. Like a utility thing in a lot of ways. Okay, you think it's a person then? Yeah, I just don't know if there's like some kind of like AI bot. Like just really in a rudimentary way, like kind of scraping off what you're saying and semi replying <clears throat> or if it's just like a farm of people like pretending to have interest just to kind of get you to go to a website to take your fucking credit card or something Yeah, I don't know. It's like these insane, like, mystery situations where you're like, is this a real person who's just maybe insane? Or, you know, five? Or something like that, you know? Or is it at this point like a bot? Or someone, you know, who didn't speak English correctly? You know, it's like, you know. It's like, that's why like, I give him the time of the day, just in case, right? You never know, but... Like, usually... 99% of the time... Some fake person. Like it can go higher. Is it 
visual bug. Sucks. Like a little small chunk of map. We could go solve that now too. Spoiled, but we played so this smooth. Gonna have a funky uh, standard for a bit, that's for sure. I know I enjoy them all. Really curious how the Celestes one's gonna be. I would imagine that one's gonna be a bit more focused on movement. Oh no wait, are they doing a Metroidvania? Yeah, it was a Metroidvania. I could take his hand. I'm gonna try to like incorporate more of the stylish shit. Biggest problem has just been bugs lately, sound bugs. Uh, it's one of these. I should have checked my picture. I had a picture for it and everything. I just assumed. I must really launch you, man. Missing two chests in this place. That one, which we know, that this one above me, I guess. No, this wasn't that puzzle. This is the puzzle. I don't know if we could do this yet. Maybe because this area is completely stopped, there is a time stop you can do. Maybe I should run through this. Yeah, that's what that's the one I was just warping to, but then I was like, wait, I don't think I have anything new I can do with that yet. I can do this one with the statues because I just need a double jump. Positions pretty nice. With this wave I've got now.
Okay, Lara just looks to the east and watches all the rest. Seems like we'll do these, but there's still more to do over here. I think this was the yeah, Tower of Silence. Maybe that's like a side thing. There's a collectible, a chest. Something else in the Hurricanian Forest, though. Which is just down here. I wish the chest sensor was just on whenever. But oh well. Oh, Hidden Village. Need that fucking grab again. Jesus, you need that for everything. So much rate, it's just one prophecy? I have no idea though where it'd be. Prophecy shit's probably gonna be a pain. We're really close to this one, but... I needed the ability to like <sighs> black hole shit and either clone it or like throw it. I, I don't know, maybe I could use my current thing here. I'm not 100%. There's a lot of uh grapples in this place though so it might be a grapple thing. Upper city still has six collectibles, six fucking chest. Oh we can get this. Not the dual sense bros. I see a little shiny dot on the ground, feel free. Those are the collectibles. Pretty spicy.
bullets. There must be another stage of my weapon coming at some point. I could go upgrade my bow again. Any secret paths? Well, that's right. We can hang off of these and shoot the shot. We literally just for that. Cool. Anything secret over here? But... the power of incoming melee. I mean, there's shit like that, like just good stat stuff. But really, I would prefer if they just got rid of the stat stuff and just made it all shit like this. Where you can have like more situational kit and stuff. Because stat stuff's just too good, right? Like, why not pick the stats? They have plenty of stuff that isn't, so you could just choose not to, but it's like you know you're getting the game. these secrets have a symbol attached to them and I gotta wonder if that's gonna have some kind of point to it and some kind of special side thing they're gonna try to dip into the meta puzzle world if 
it's like a way to check if you've gotten all the like puzzly secrets so you can get some super reward. Cause I mean they could just put a number on them and all have the same symbol, right? If they just wanted to let you know that hey there are other secrets because this is the ninth one, there's eight others, right? Or something like that. Missed a bunch of secrets out of these places. Pretty useful, man. Like a little repositioner. upgrade at some point. <laughs> it's really I should probably just continue story, get everything, and then use those advanced weapons around here. Lower city. Three chests, two Xerxes, one collectible, and one Ash. Lower city's pretty big. Now there could be other lower city areas, but the thing is you discover these areas in full pretty easily is the problem. But there could be like a corner of a room you didn't actually walk into. We're gonna have to rewalk through some shit. Might as well knock off the shit that we actually know. Like the depths I've been like everywhere in here. That I can see. There's probably some hidden walls. Which I really don't like that the sensor for that is a DLC. I <laughs> don't know if you could get it in game still, maybe. I'd blame the Ubisoft exec at that point. Let's go to the Raging Sea. Does have hints. I don't know if they hint you as to where uh, you go story wise <clears throat> or where certain things are. This guy sucks. <laughs> he didn't even put up a fight. What's wrong with this motherfucker? Back to the Kino zone. Oh. 
Hurry it out here. The time shenanigans are cooler in this game than in the Sands of Time as well. Cooler powers that involve time and space. And also more fun areas and story. I mean, in the original Sands of Time was fine, but... I definitely didn't do much with the gameplay outside, just the rewinds, which was cute, it was just kind of like a, like a little checkpoint system, essentially. Other than the slow-mo, there wasn't really much else you had going on. The music's loud as fuck. You get a long time on that parry. <laughs> Be like unapologetic, Kamehameha, dude. He just did it with one arm instead of two. The wave of energy. I mean, like, we're just throwing the anime in here, we don't care. I respect them. Kamehameha Perry.
going to be a whole lot of hidden walls out here. Checkpoint heavy levels. It's fresh to me, man. Why not? Tell me secrets. Lend me your eye of the wanderer. Yeah, she has the lore about every place, but I always forget to talk. <clears throat> Useful map. Hi, Sargon. A sea frozen in time. Even as I stand here, I can't believe it. Hmm. Can you feel that strange force? No. You can feel exactly the moment that time stopped. Okay, if you've been up to this point, all that map reveals is just the rest. Alright, maybe this is optional. It's another item, I guess, right? Does it count as an item, even? gonna get you. Oh, we still got the zerk. That's good. I guess I technically like touched down before I hit the fire. Maybe the corner was safe.
Where am I fucking loot? Is there some like crazy pirate's treasure or something somewhere? I'm missing five chests. I mean, I'm guessing the boss guy, Fat So McGee, is gonna have. Oh, I gotta count his treasures. He knows they call it. Oh, the water's back. <laughs> the water is, is returned. I mean, I can't swim. This game's audio is so like quiet. Not that I care. If I didn't say, like, this song in particular is like, just insane or something, but you're gonna go for like the guitar, so at least have the volume be pumped up. And I've even got the music specially like turned up a bit, and it's still pretty fucking quiet. expect you to have your volume just cr I feel like that's a lot of does these days triple A especially 
They just expect you to have your fucking sound just juiced. So there's this huge range between action and everything else. Like you, you, you set your audio to the lowest so that sounds audible, and then the rest is just ear piercing for hype or whatever. At least that's how it feels in a lot of like stuff like your Capcom games and all that. Pretty useful. Be out of arrows and still can be popping off a bit with some range shit. They feel a little more juicy than an arrow, too. of the sea. Most convenient, promising land. Most of them are gonna die anyways. It's easy peasy, man. Yes, you can have some land. The five of you who make it back.
Not bad, kid. You managed to get here. A fight between two immortals. And no one to see it. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> Oh, my fucking battery is gonna die. What's up? <laughs> Some version. It is. It probably does. Hold on. The Storm Master challenge Sargon, the betrayer. Okay. Show me the true spirit of the Rashabar. <laughs> fancy rugs. Well, the prince is dead right now, but he had a pretty fancy clothes. Come on, give me everything you've got. It's just like a 10 hour long grab, huh? Grab me. For free. Thank you, Sony. I fucking appreciate the timing, dude. Caspian Sea. Cross the hell bridge of Shinvat for a bet. <clears throat> Crushed Hercules. No one sang about it. But you, you gave me the most glorious fight. Did you kill Hassan? What do you think? <laughs> Don't fight the current. Learn to sail in high winds, kid. Seam. The seam of the earth. I saw it. <laughs> well, it was funny seeing the seams, dude. The games.
Yeah, they're probably gonna be level three. You just saw that fight. Without doing a bunch of parries, man, you're not getting to level three easy unless you're walking in with it. I mean, it probably does more than just fight his wave, but these have cooldowns of their own, so it's like can't really spam three waves. It's good. But still a lot of there's one Xerxes, three treasures. Yeah, cool fight. Went pretty smooth, I would say. Maybe we ran out of all of our healing, but. A pretty good early, early game there. Early fight. And two chests and one Xerxes. Where the fuck are they? Maybe there's like a hidden wall. <clears throat> and they pop up later. We didn't get any power from this guy. Thing. This is having this is where the chest detector would be nice. <laughs> How about that uh Pokemon's game. Yeah, I feel like when you put this on, it kills the sound. Where are these chests in this? In the beginning? I think it's the speed of the game and how much you can like dodge around and all of the capabilities you have. <clears throat> how responsive it is. They can make enemies that get pretty gnarly and pretty pretty quick. Which is cool. Enemies that you can like parry and uh, just because you you kinda can do all that too. I mean, if they didn't, it would be a joke, right? Like, I can fucking, like, warp around and, like, rewind time and all that shit. It's like, you kind of have to have enemies who at least can... Sort of fuck you up, right? Here, 
I really don't think there was anything up there either. Sounds fun to platform, I don't mind. Redoing it. Looks stylish, feels stylish. I feel like there's like a hidden wall somewhere. I don't know. There's a hidden wall out here in the pirate area? Unless there's another raging sea. I'm not coping. Nothing here either. I think it reads the entire room, this treasure sensor. There could be another raging sea area. I don't know where that would be, but it's possible. I really don't think so though. The Xerxes could be anywhere, man. He could be hiding up around some platforming that I missed. We'll have to probably come back on all that. I feel like there could be a Xerxes here. Nothing here either. Unless it's at the beginning. Another fast travel. Very odd. 
feels like there's another area, considering there's two chests, but... 100% at Sunken Harbor. Thing. New thing. I'm interested in thing. What about you guys? the six time hit that often it does do some good damage I'm as close as I can get Be something I can do there right now. Unlikely, but maybe. Released a big thank you to everyone for liking the game. Yeah, came good. Good to see you. I'll make things right, old friend. I'll make things right. Hard upon scene shit, dude. Who's Rod to John again? Did we fight that motherfucker? Any? <laughs> that was probably the guy we just fought. <laughs> I think we need the swingy. I assume it's a swing, or it's like a launch.
Oh, that. Collectibles are cool, right? I, don't know. I need them all. Not quite what I was after, but something, I guess. Smith food? I'm doing the Smith food thing. Needed another yoink to get in there. I don't know if I actually need the yoink for this. Since I can throw the chakram now. Jesus. Really see it. I guess I can't work back. propel myself towards the enemy. <laughs> We're not there yet. Hold on. Sequence break, I guess. Crazy delay out of the tax. I'm trying to work the parries back up. He's got some pretty gnarly charge ups. I 
Maybe the, uh, maybe it's in here. What's up, Radlos? Good morning. It's over here somewhere. I doubt it. I really doubt it's any kind of special sequence for you. And it's super easy just to throw your chakra up there into platform, yeah. Could just be an odd tooltip. video of a playthrough from almost all the games. I think the idea there is they're doing a classic Let's Play where they do one video, record it, see if it gets any views, and then they just stop. They don't get views. That's how I always assumed it was with those. Like it was just gauging interest and then they just kind of leave it. It sucks for sure. You're like looking for like a cool playthrough or something. <laughs> Whatever works. I just feel like, I mean, if you're not big anyways, you're probably not getting views regardless on your playthrough. Unless you're like really caring about the minutia of views. I'm like putting out some consistent content here. Putting more unique would be better, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I just dump all my VODs. I mean. He says I have this entire room viewed, but, but then there's chest, so there's probably gonna be a bunch of shit like that in every area. Like I said, there's areas where it's like He said I've seen everything, but it's like that doesn't seem the case. <laughs> the numbers say that I haven't, but Beyond just that it's like you don't even know where you're gonna start. It's fine, it's fun just to run around. See if they give any kind of assistance or if it's just who's by the DLC. Yeah. 
huge deal either way. That's where they really tell me I'm not allowed to be over here. Bearing the royal sash? What an honor. I am Meriam, royal architect of the citadel, appointed by King Darius himself. Go on then, you honor me in turn. Oh, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Architect. So the traps, those are your designs. An admirer. You're welcome. An admirer. Yes. Puzzles, secrets, technological marvels, fortifications are my specialty. Must keep the city safe from marauders. Oh, but the city is so much more. The elevator? My idea. Much of it is very impressive. Even if some of it is dangerous. My true marvel are still in my workshop. I'm sure you'd like to see them. I might. We have to find all the secrets where are these glyphs oh, in the back. I can't let just anyone in. It has to be someone worthy of the honor. I've hidden treasures around the city. Find all of those, and I'll let you inside my workshop. Wonderful. You won't be disappointed. Actually, you might be if you can't manage. If you fail, just admire the genius that created it. That should make you feel better. Go on. You're off to a good start. Okay. I think we're missing two of them. I know where one is. It's the one where I got a kneel or whatever. I'll probably kneel. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna wait till I get some more abilities unless there's a trick to it. This one down in here. See on the other one. The hidden village. Yeah, I feel like it's I can kneel there and I don't get smacked, but I'm like maybe I need like I don't know if there's some time stop. We'll see. Yeah, really I mean I can kneel for as long as I want. Maybe there's some trick to it. No, no, I haven't worried about it too much. I feel like I'm supposed to actually do this puzzle. I just kind of didn't get it at the time. I'm clearly not supposed to be here. Unless I'm supposed to get something from him and I didn't pick it up or some shit. You'd think it'd be automatic. I think I'm missing two chests in a Xerxes, and I've walked through all these with the locator and get shit, so unless there's a hidden wall or some goofy shit, there might be another area, I don't know. We'll find out later. We need the grapple. No, we might be able to do this, I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it a peek again.
supposed to do them in the order they're on the map. We're gonna have to wait on that. It's really good. It's really fast. It's like really usable. Like when you throw it out, it goes really quick. And then also like it's really useful to re really useful to reposition yourself and do all sorts of crazy shit in combat. It's nice. Cool. We're still getting like pretty sizable like new abilities. Kind of change how you play. What you want, man. That they're useful for combat and movement platforming. I mean, because the enemies are so like quick and aggressive and stuff, it kind of lends itself to movement mixed with action pretty well. Movement wouldn't matter much. Everybody just stood still and just took hits, right? I guess we could go grab that teleporter or that shortcut. Care too much, but You can't go through this door, man. Bloodstain, really? Have you 100% of Bloodstain or no? Bloodstain's a lot of fun, too. Could do some drop. I had my drop kick build in that, dude. That game is a bit more about build craft and shit. Flavoring your build and mastery. Yeah, yeah. Any word on Bloodstain, too? Curse of the Moon 2 was supposed to not be as good as the first. I just passed on that. But the Eagles is working. Bloodstain was good. I mean, that solid. I hope he's ready to up the ante a bit in the next one, though. They're still updating Bloodstain? Holy fuck, dude. You can stop, man. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the Kickstarters will they'll understand, right? I feel like they've been updating it for longer than the original dev time was. I guess because they're working on other games at the same time.
Oh, cool. And then let's do two million Power World Seven. <laughs> it sucks putting that in perspective, then. Although they got their Kickstarter and they've been on Game Pass as well, and it's a more niche thing, I suppose. And survival craft. I don't think I ever hit Flavor of the Month. It's just been. For those in the know who care. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd replay it. <clears throat> just because of those new modes. I mean, that's just me personally. But I, I totally get the desire. I always have the desire to replay an Egovania, though. There's so many of my trade venues, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Uh, I remember having a big problem with the animations. And they changed the look of the models and all that quite a bit. You mean like really early alpha shit? Yeah, they looked good. I didn't like the first one a whole lot, but it was fine enough. I mean, it was fun. It was a cool like one playthrough for me. But I heard the second one's like shittier. I was like, eh. Not interested. Did a different dev do those? And they just outsourced it? I don't remember. Okay, I think this is what we were waiting for. I'm just sad they nerfed my bunny build, man. I love the build. One, she looked good. Maxi, and then also two. fun and uh, like super powerful.
Do they all have to activate at the same time? We needed the shock room or just made it easier, I don't know. I don't remember the animations. I mean I, I prefer the Castlevania look the animations any day, but Hmm. Sure, sure. It's been a while. I mean, it never, it didn't ever feel like ultra sexy polish, like, especially on the, so my thing is on the Xbox One, I was playing an extra shitty version of it that I think was, like, many versions back that looked worse and ran worse than, like, the new versions. But it just looked like extra crap to me. <laughs> but I, I, I saw the other versions of it. I don't know why the Xbox One version was, like, fucked like that. I don't know if it was Game Pass or something else. You're worth watching a replay or doing a replay just for that. Oh, we've upgraded the necklace fully. Oof. Feels bad, brother. We're nearing the end. Yeah. It was insanely buggy, too. One of the buggiest. It was heavy, like amounts of crashing I've even seen in a fucking game. Sargon, your blade was sharper than mine. Clearly just like a fucked version of it that was really should have been better prepared. Why did you Why did you kidnap Prince Hassan? I followed Queen Tamiris's orders. I can't tell you why, but I still need to finish my mission. Your mission cost Hassan's life. No need to drive the knife even further. I was loyal to a fault. You never taught me how to deal with such defeat. But I'll find a way to make this right. No one can stand up against Varum and survive. First time for everything. You said you can make this right. What do you have in mind? I mean, didn't that just happen with the Power World? The certification process, I mean, like, the fucking game was like two weeks, or like, took two weeks to even catch it up to 1.02, no, no, Xbox was 1.0. I think there's like tech tree and like multiplayer changes and shit. Oh, it's interesting, Steam could just flat out, just let them pretty much instantly push updates, but why can't Microsoft? I mean, I would get if it was like a safety thing, but clearly it hasn't been a problem with Steam, so I have no idea. This is funny because if games release at the same time on Game Pass or something, like if it is the kind of game that gets a lot of updates, like some kind of indie game, it ends up being kind of shitty off. Even the PlayStation does that certification thing too. I mean, this hasn't gotten a single update yet. I don't know yet if it will work, but that's a chance I must take. Then let me help you. I can't trust you now. I understand. This probably means farewell. Farewell, Anahita. Can't trust you. Get fucked. Thank you. 
Yeah, it seems like a fucking joke. Uh, I would like to think this isn't the end of the game. I'd like to think they would tell me. shit over here, man. Sounds like there's something above me. <clears throat> okay, good. Well, guess this will have to figure itself out later. Silence again. Well, I might as well continue then. I need that, uh, yoink. feels like I was supposed to just get it in there. Because this entire area has yoinks everywhere, but... And to open up that one area from the other side, you're gonna have a yoink. I haven't fought that assassin chick. I don't know if she's maybe supposed to be somewhere. Oh well, we'll just continue on. Maybe it's fine. I mean, I've been able to do this shit. It's not like it's seemingly super wrong. Oh, I kind of just killed myself. Oops. Oh well. We're here now, man. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, you want to have these old rooms be able to be, like, gotten through easier in case you need a retread. And you have to throw those symbols everywhere to make it happen. But it makes it the almost feel like... Your friends weighs heavily on you, Sargon. Like you're supposed to have already gotten it. I mean, could just make those symbols appear later, but I mean, then it would be kind of shitty with the picture taking. You're like, hey, how do I get up here? And it's like, oh, the symbol I remember. I'm not in the mood to speak, Alcara. They were great warriors. They stood for honor. What choice did I have? They knew as well as you that great warriors stand for truth above all else. See some trickery from the serpent. Sargon, listen to me. Hassan is coming with me. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. 
Thank you, Varum. Varum? Yes. You found some of those feathers. My visions were true after all. Whatever your visions were, I doubt you saw this coming. Step aside, Hassan. I'll deal with this. Varum the White Lion is not worthy to be an immortal, even less a king. Sargon, watch out! Yeah, especially if they're gonna have two versions of him. Anahita, no! No, don't. I need you alive. Who do you think you are? Doesn't he need to get knocked off the ledge? without me. A stray dog is not worthy of these powers. This other version just doesn't say the anything. The feathers of the Samorg were never meant for you, nor any mortal. The Samorg is no more. Its powers are mine. Them. Bear witness. I have the score. Great okay, value, Bird. <laughs> Convertible power stands for. Oh, 
Oof. Bear witness. My turn. I wanted to start doing some more parries. Stop. Where's my buddy go. Buddy guys killed instantly. Trying to find the good parry times just to use uh, my powers. Because you really never get your powers without doing a parry. My time. Jamie counters all of your arrows. My turn. That'd be far enough. I need to not even think about parries. I 
actually just more chaotic with your buddy here. My time. Prefer him just to be dead. My time. I just eat my potion. <laughs> Some bullshit, dude. I chugged a potion, but I don't know if it ate it and didn't heal me or what. Because he did the time thing at the exact same point. Stop. 
do better on the later phases than this first bit. I guess it's because the the bloody. I don't know if he's coming for you or coming for the blood. There's too much shit going on. Eye of the storm. My turn. Pots in, we haven't started the fight. Fight time. Okay. Mm. It's good. Second DMC, the best ones are the fucking human fights <laughs> against the other fast guy. Well, the best boss fights. DMC, the best fights are sandbagging for fucking style. They're hitting sandbag for style. Visuals. Stop. I keep thinking he's gonna advance a little bit farther, but he kinda starts it back if you're moving. My turn. Now I know when his eye flashes red you can't carry it. But I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> well, that's pretty clear. I must have said something other than that. Oh, gotcha. Missed it. It's pretty impossible to read the chat during this. I'm gonna have to look. Not for a bit. My turn. can only pair the uh, the non red eyeball attacks it's like Sekiro bear witness Charge in this side. Eye of the storm. Be gone. I was hoping I'd hang up there for a bit, but you can't cancel it. You hold circle. I'll let you skip it. Already doing damage to be on his rewind. <laughs> I 
I think when I'm repositioning and then he starts teleporting because you don't know if he's going to stay behind. You don't know if he's going to stay behind or come with you. I think he usually comes with you. And how much styling on this one. You just got to play the, play the pace he's going, Lights man. Up. Get his health back? <laughs> I wasn't even sure if he did. Sorry, I need I need to stop him. Watch out. <laughs> Bear witness. Every time I do, I get fucking clocked by this guy. Oh, there's some ten thousand dollar speedrun challenge going on right now. I haven't been watching any because I haven't finished it. That's my samurai man with speedrunning this. Stop. He's like changing the direction. He's got a new, new tactic at the last fourth of his health. You just have to know he does. Yeah. I'll just start going fucking popping off right there, man. Good shots. Stop. 
Trying something new there. Didn't work out. Like, I don't know if you have to delay it a bit, because he, like, reads it. Woodblade's a lot of fun. It's gameplay. It's like, it's like more, more damage, but it's also utility. And it's also cool. Animation's nice. New move, which is always nice. Sargon for Smash <laughs> and his buddy Virgil here. I mean, whatever his name is. <laughs> Bottom line is Persians can suck. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Persian. Though. My son, you will earn the sea morgs. Documentary <laughs> Persian. Motherfuckers are built different out there. I will reveal your regnal name. Oh, mighty Seamorg, 
protector of our people, I, Darius, have come to present to you my son. Oh no, your other son. And your Should other son. Should you deem him worthy, he shall one day become king. The reign of the house of Darius is over. It is? What is this? Is that gonna be the dagger Tobias. time? No! Ah. Ah. Yeah, the speedruns will be cool, I'm sure. Live. <laughs> Fuck it. Baram, you must live. Oh. I prefer to leave such meaningless titles to humans. I have left your world behind. The Samorg is no more. It is my sacred duty to recover its powers. You can fly now. And the one who wields them will be equal to a god. You have completely lost your mind, Varum. These powers are mine by right. This is far from over, Sargon. Who isn't the Prince of Persia? Why did she betray us? She never did. That doesn't matter anymore. How does this guy like continue his his timeline? She was tough on us, and yet she gave her life. We're not coming back to save her. I know what you're thinking. What do you see at the end of your blade? In the next, it'd be something original. Season two, of the Prince of Persia. I found him. All of the Sargon. I am all of the Sargons. Actually, just some fabric. <laughs> Prince of Persia, the Lost kind of Warrior with. No, it's got to be the two thrones, and then the third one's Warrior within for no reason, just to fuck with Sands of Time people. Two thrones, but it's a two, not a spelt out, just a fucking number two. Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown, two, two thrones. <laughs> what did the bear win? <laughs> Sorry, I'm catching up on chat. It was very anime. Cool fight, though. You could really get gaming on some of these fights, man. He has a lot of attacks that are parryable, and then you could void the, uh, <clears throat> the ground smack and I'm really curious what kind of optimal DPS people will do by like prepping rewinds in the air and shit and we got the demon I'm the Nero armed in what just happened Oh, this guy's still here. Hassan, I have something to tell you, and I need you to believe me. Sargon, you are the only one I trust right now. I play both of those. Forgotten Sands is completely forgettable, but I don't remember totally hating it. And 08 is interesting. Definitely a bit more, I guess, artsy, but it can be a bit... Desolate at times. 
I don't recall it super clearly, so I don't think it ended up being super awesome for me, but I think I hated it less than some of these. Game not suck. Yeah, this this is the only good Prince of Persia game. <laughs> the end. Tamiris, your mother, murdered King Darius. She usurped the throne. The Simorg never perched on her shoulder. Hassan, I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. I never found she <laughs> wore her title well. Nor was she motherly. Tom, you're not the Prince of Persia. I am the Prince the of People Persia. suffered for 30 years without the Simorg because of her. The Lost Levels in uh, featuring Miyamoto from the Super Mario Bros. series. I am sorry about your mentor, Anahita. She told me she was following orders from... from Tamiris. Then... Anahita was manipulated into doing her bidding? Just as I was pressured to maintain faith. Why even have me kidnapped? There's... There's one more thing. I'm listening. Varum is the son of King Darius. Is that... Is that why he tried to kill me? For revenge? All I know is that all of this has allowed us to see Varum's true colors. Varum may be the rightful heir, but he's far too dangerous. We must stop him. You're right. We must protect the people more than anything else. I can help you with what I've learned through scriptures and legends. Varum spoke of recovering powers. That means he's after the heart of the Simorg. It's at the Simorg Gate. But to gain access, you'll need the Key of Kings in the Tower of Silence. Then I must retrieve it. Then how is the other Sam, guy getting there? helping me more than you know. Godspeed, my friend. Goodbye, fake Prince of Persia. But what about the prophecy? Where they mentioned ten zillion princes. <laughs> my brother. Lumberja. I'll have one heal left, brother. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My brother? Jealous? I'm styling on you, brother. He's just gonna hang out. Alright, dude. Well, we got a lot to go get. Nice. Quite nice. the people controls in order well, you can just go it down from anywhere you don't have to be rooted Shut up there. I can also just walk through that. Walk through this. I guess I'm close. I might as well go grab that.
for this one. Very close. I'll probably do some chill cleanup for now then. Oh, we didn't have to go this high. Was the fat guy uh, easy but fun I liked it a lot of cool jukes and stuff he had a lot of grapples the mental ice one was cool I like that one because it was uh a lot of range stuff, and you could actually combo him, but because he's like super evasive, kind of neat. Yeah, I one tried it. The middle last one took a few, but my sound was bugged, so we had no music in the fight, so it was fucking weirding me out. Well, the first couple are kind of. I'm really like learning anything. Yeah, he was fun though. I mean, I like the play. That one, I was like, hmm. maybe there, maybe the difficulty is a little wonky there. But then this last guy was hard. It was fun. Yeah, I almost thought there was a second phase on the fat guy. No, he was just kind of big and I think they wanted him to stop and be able to be like hit often or something because he was supposed to do these like big hits and grab you and shit <sighs> I mean I could definitely see myself dying a couple times it wasn't like bizarrely easy I still thought you had to do a lot but it was just a little bit more simple for sure And one collectible here. You know, that's a bitch. This one, I'm missing four? Or just like an area with like 20 collectibles, man. There might be four collect. There might be four lore up here. Thinking of a B, maybe it is a devil like that. And that resets your jumps too. Anyways. the first one that most people would want to go for since you kind of run into him really. I haven't found that assassin chick. I guess she's popping up later. It's funny because that was like the very first person they warned you about. I think after you um, <clears throat> left the so like the the balding chick in the sewers or whatever the shield chick and I, like, I haven't seen her since I guess she's coming up 
I don't think we'll fight Varm again. Then. The end, or fight somebody. Play the tune. I'm gonna rest here so I can death warp. Last game. I don't remember who the herbalist is. Rosie. I really hope it's over here. We're related to the swang. I did not mean to rest here, now I gotta run back. Redless, do you know if 100% counts upgrading every amulet? Sick days, man. You really can't stomach it. Call out, man. Well, that's good luck, man. I believe in you.
I had a few people in here complaining that they uh, lost their 100% too because of that coin. It's pretty rough, man. Let's see. Well, what's up? What's up there? This is like... I've tried getting up there, but it doesn't disappear. It's probably in some damn room I fully explored, but it's sitting somewhere weird. Around some corner I missed. It's in a hidden room. They root you in place. I feel like that, uh... <clears throat> Could be like, stop you in midair or something. Oh, uh, okay. That does sound goofy. So this is where I've probably missed most of the collectibles, is I don't break everything I see. So like, I've probably missed a bunch of shit. Celestile. This is my favorite Celeste. Hollow Knight like. Celesta. Celesta Knight like. Wow. ones without game over and to go grab that fucking explosive dude. This is a Metroidvania, yeah. I'm just memeing, I guess. I would just say it's, yeah, it's straight up just hard Metroidvania. about it. I mean it takes like little things from other games but 
it's, it's predominantly Metroidvania. Metroidvanias end up a hodgepodge of all sorts of shit anyways, usually. Not all, but can you play in what lives under the White House or the White House? The White House. Who lives under the White House? Ooh. Elvis is still alive under the White House. Dude. What's he doing down there? that before I jumped I guess. A long trip back. This explains the missing treasure. Should be careful where their fights start. I made a mistake. I save there. We'll see. Him. I 
should be careful where their fights start. If I can just like explore around on an area and it starts to fight underneath me and it's supposed to lock me in, that's kind of fucked. Hopefully there's been not too many notes that I have to pay attention to that I'm supposed to jump off and grab. Or not jump off and grab, but it's supposed to use, right? Let's see, I've been reading every note super carefully. Some of them like they maybe have hints towards you, but... I guess I could kind of generally figure out where the notes are from. And go back into areas and figure it out. Trying to hit the thing, but it's hitting the dude. I'll check that out. Let me explore this whole lighthouse before I jump off again. We need to be careful not to jump off either on accident. Secret. You do play as the Prince of Persia. Hi, Sargon. The secret. Lend me your prince. eye of the wanderer. I wonder if you have to get I'll all the, the prophecy and there's like a true ending or something. I'm definitely inspired by enough stuff that has true endings. Well, thanks for the map. That was awesome. Hi, Sargon. When the cursed fog rolled down from the mountains, it stole villages. Stole them? Yes. Some disappeared completely, never to be seen. I think you're messing with me. I promise that I'm not. You're fucking with me? Ah. These guys gonna be too easy, I guess. Oops.
Xerxes. Where that at? I don't know. Will there be a Xerxes detector? Where's it hiding out here? in one of those platforming bits hiding somewhere around a corner I didn't grab or something somewhere over here you know Let's go back home and spend some money. Spend some fucking money. I'm getting tired. I guess I had a pretty fucking weird sleep. I've been staying up for a really long time. Was at work yesterday. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Gonna fight him for our final lesson. Artaban, my sash. I can control it. Another gift from the Simorg. It's a long story. More like it's imbued with Athra. Like my blades and my bow. I can show you. This combo extender. What a superb display of skill. I can do something else, too. Watch closely. Guy's not even teaching us anymore. <laughs> Such power cannot be imbued in an item in a single lifetime. Somehow, I feel like I've lived many lives in Mount Karth. You've done well. I have nothing left to teach you at this point. I have an ancient scroll that was passed down to me by my mentor, Sargon. I think you should have it. Oh, it's lore. Hoping to give me something, you know, something a little juicier. You're on Tutor of Heroes. Secret training regimen will be etched in the annals of history, let it fade. And I believe I'm here. Hercules. This is Hercules trainer.
Hercules daily regimen, dude. Yeah. Get the Hercules fucking... The Hercules program here, dude. Body by Hercules. The morning sprint. 150 side lunges. 50 bull raises. The star hold. 500 squat, 750 one arm push up, hour long plank, 1000 sit up, light a ball. I know what a Xiphus is. Root pulling. One day for rest, and of course. Eat a lot of chicken, broccoli, and rice, baby. 2,000 sit ups, chicken, broccoli, rice. Wow. Well, the shit post lore at the end here, buddy. Good to Jesus. see you. I thought we'd have to fight the man or something. The son's alive. I've only just seen him. Anahita wasn't with him. Anahita. She didn't make it. Killed by Varum. What? I don't understand. Artaban, listen. I'm only alive because of her. She took the blade that was meant for me. What are you saying? It would take too long to explain, but... It's the curse of this place, isn't it? I can feel it. It would take too the long to explain. Shudders. I think you owe him an explanation. In the air crackles, Sargon. You have to find a way to defeat the cursed magic of this place. Otherwise, we're all lost. If there's a way, I haven't found it yet. But I will. Later, guy. Welcome. No potions? What's my potion? This must come. Surely wow. you get up to five. There we go. Dude. Sword upgrade. Final sword. Boss didn't even care about the arrows. We need four more of these. That's probably like all of them in the game. And spend our money because by the time we get those, we'll probably. I don't need to worry about it. Oh, Rajan. They mentioned her. That's who it was in the lore. She always had the hots for. Uh... She had the hots for him. So I found a lore page somewhere that was talking about Rajan being into him. The cutscene where Varm tells people you killed the prince is the last we see for after research. I think she becomes Kiana, the wolf rider lady in the forest. Oh. How the hell would she have became her? Wasn't that lady supposed to... Corrupt a forest or something? I thought she was like extraterrestrial. Oh, time shit. Okay. Interesting. Huh? That explains that, man. Yeah, I was like. Where'd you go? <clears throat> She seemed like generic mook for uh, 
Var on number one, pretty much. He was like his right hand man. There's like a big lore page I read recently about her having the hots for him. I don't know if it was her or if it was somebody else. I forgot her name, so I wasn't sure. Rosie. Yeah, look at him blonde, dude. Looking fucking ridiculous, man. Please take my cutscene seriously, right? Lilac's cool. Crimson's cool. Default's cool. Radiant ain't bad. Welcome. No, I mean, that makes sense, sure. We don't quite know how all of his powers work and shit, so I mean... That and the timey wiminess it could very well be. Yeah, I mean, the story's clearly not their... their focus in this way. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it does the job to keep the momentum going and the events, you know, clearly on your mind, but... But it's not a story or lore game, despite having both. Three chests, two Xerxes, and another thing. You'd think I'd be missing a whole fucking area down here. Some loot in the depths. We're just gonna have to rerun through a lot of these. There, there must be some hidden walls or <clears throat> some areas I just missed, or some rooms where it looked like I explored everything, but I did not open up the chest. <gasps> oh, the chest thing. Excuse me. I've been taking this off because I think it's been bugging my audio. Like it's been muting my music or something. But maybe not. Like when it's on, then it stays on, the music bugs. I don't know if it's because of this or something else. I was like, well, anything that helps me, I might as well use it, even though I don't really feel like I need it. But why not? It only picks up chest though, it's like, well, it's not that great. I've been in the scrapper in a while. Because there's a chest down here. It might count the vendor, possibly. Pay in Xerxes. Yes, you told me before. Have I? The 
then something's happened. I've been given a second chance to turn back time. And what about the rest of us? What do we get? Well, I... I hope this will help all of us. You don't know any better than the rest of us. Later, bro. Uh... There's some chests here. Where? It makes a noise you can barely hear. I'm just kind of going off the visuals. I don't know if it pulses more the closer you get. this. I think I remember being here. Create a laser beam dealing slight damage while using the shadow tele... Most big crazy bosses, you're generally not going to be able to uh, do the multi six hit on. I wish it was cheaper because it's super situational. So I might get rid of that one just to get some more, add some more goofy ones to the list.
Yeah, I like it because it gives me more moves to use, but it's just like, when do you really get to use a combo that big? Usually against guys that can be staggering, it's like, well, you can stagger them. It's like, you can combo them. Like, you might as well combo them then. Bosses won't let you just use the six hits on them, probably. I can usually get a one or two. So I kind of wish it was just an upgrade because it's situational, so it'd be nice to just have it on the kit. But yeah. Yeah, exactly. It ends up being too dead too often. Yeah, like I said, I've mostly kept it along just to... Just having the options cool. I like having options in action games. Then you can style or mix shit up or... It's just fun. More kind of skill expression, but... Yeah, it just doesn't... it's not useful enough. I'll try out this new one. Definitely use all that money if I man. Might not be right away, but you do. I got the time crystal thing turned on. Just fuck it. I'm missing all sorts of here. I'd be surprised if this is something I could get to. And it just looked different. I figured I don't want to run around and try to like clean up yet, just in case there's like new areas to jump into, but I like most of these I do actually have the ability to get everything. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. We got things I've taken pictures of we can at least clean up. That kneeling one I can probably do. I don't know how, but can't imagine I've got that much more shit to find, but let's see. generics and a complete fucking joke. Which is cool. I mean, yeah, evolving. And they could give us a situation where Nice. Or uh give us a shitload of generic or something. We gotta tussle with well, the last thing here is the puzzle. And it's done. Well, this area is. I don't know what's going on there. I 
Pumpkin Harbor's done. The Depths has some more. Canyon Forest has one thing. Lama Tree has one thing. I haven't even started a Tower of Silence. Seems like a whole zone. Upper City has one thing and then four lore. I'm expecting maybe this to have like lore all over it. And you could easily get an item from this too, so. I'm gonna assume it's done for now. Secret Archives has one piece of lore, just like a. I have no idea. The lower city has a lot. Odd. Raging Sea has one Xerxes. Which, oof. Some hidden walls. Who knows? Man. All sorts of shit. I'm gonna start exploring it. Come back and clean up stuff. I feel like, though, this can be solved. I don't know, unless there's like some other power I get later still. I have the prophecy. One more of Ardashir's soldiers. Power of Silence. Oh, you get another potion from him. All the hidden secret. Cold pizza is good. Depends on the pizza, but. I love having it hot, and I love having it cold. In between, like reheated is okay. Depends on the slice. Too bad. But I suppose, I mean, Lower City was the first area I ran through. There, there definitely could be some stuff that looks like I found it, but I haven't. There could be other areas that are done locked. I'm gonna bet I could probably clean up every area in full at this point. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, see when the chest thing's on, it mutes all the sound. And it like left that on during boss fights. And then the music also just didn't spawn in general. I think I'll still like drop something. find one of these statues somewhere. I mean, I could go like find this enemy somewhere. I don't think there's one down here. I mean, that's not the answer, is it? I have to take a fucking statue man 
Somehow, I don't even know if he can be grabbed. And drop him there. <laughs> I guess it's possible. See, now the music's fucked. Yeah, I don't mind asking that. Because it'll be a pain in the ass to go test it. I don't feel like it would be the answer because that's really far away. But maybe it's exceptional. We have to grab a statue, man. Really? Jesus. From like all the way up here. I mean, it makes sense, but the precedent's not there. That's the problem. It only makes sense in that there's some in the back, so you have to just drop one on the pedestal. I th it makes more sense to me that I kneel, because when you kneel, the, uh, the things don't smash you. So I was like, you just kneel for a long enough time, but that just didn't work. The precedent, though, is the problem. It's like, you never usually have to leave the room at all. So I need to actually get a moon man, or a... A dude. I don't even remember where they spawn. It's Jack, yeah. It's a shame, because... It's... Like, listen, there's, like, no music. Like, you can barely hear it. This is why I haven't left the treasure thing on, because it sounds like shit when I have it on, and I have to like usually restart the game. Where's a good place to even find these guys, man? Yeah, I was just like, well, that's about the only thing I can think of. Because I've already tried a bunch of shit, so I was like, I'm gonna go test it, but I didn't want to run out here if that wasn't the answer. I think I'm pretty sure there's some in here somewhere, but they might be higher up. Yeah. There's a bitch to get back up there. There's not enough teleports in this area for how vertical it is. Takes a lot more time to move through than horizontal. And it's like, I want to use this treasure finder, but then it like, kills all the music. And it's like, not like the music's crazy good or anything, but it's like, well... I still want to hear it. Is it coming back randomly? Is it because I went in a new area? It's just so inconsistent about it. It sucks. I didn't even think you could grab these guys, man. That's why I thought it was going to be a goofy thing to try. <clears throat> it's like, there's plenty of enemies I feel like are too big to be grabbed, or maybe I haven't tried it enough on <clears throat> enough dudes. I mean, it's cute. Nothing super crazy for the certain certain kinds of games, but you know, usually you just solve it, like I said, within the, the room you started in. <clears throat> I do like that they have these kinds of puzzles, though. They're not trying to make them like too crazy, obscure, riddly, but you know, there's a little bit of the thonk and you gotta gotta do. Is that it? 
Oh, great. Now we gotta get it again. Let's try dropping them. Does it need to be dropped like precisely there? Tried pressing down to throw him down there, but it didn't work. This needs to die to it, but I also died. I just found him. I think it was like up here. I think it's like I just some surprise there's not like a teleport right there. I mean I just teleports all around, but like no one's like here. Who the fuck was that guy man? I like dodging them and juking and stuff, it's cool. Especially if you got the, the black hole, but not when I'm trying to do something I've already done. other stuff to do Looking for like one fucking specific ass enemy okay. which two mile away teleporter do you want to take right to this one. Okay. When you zip through them, <coughs> I don't know what is wrong with my fucking voice, but that's when you zip through them, it does damage. Dead voice. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, there's this guy too. You could cancel out of it whenever you want to. Very smooth. Very smooth. Listen to the sound. It's like I feel like they like duck the sound so you could hear the chirp of the chest thing, but then it's actually a totally glitched and overdone. Like the chest is gone now and it's still muted. It's like just the music, and some of the ambient. Very odd, man. Alright, well this area is done. Sunken Harbor is done. Steps is not done. I feel like it probably can be. Or city is not done. I don't know if it can be, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of area, so. There's one collectible in the archives, dude. I have no idea. I don't even know a way to detect those. Upper city, I don't know. I feel like this area probably has lore drops. That there's like four missing. Unless there's like a specific room. I did break some shit in. That's quite a bit. Miss one collectible in the archives. I gotta wonder if it's like a secret wall or something. We'll see. I can just continue the next area. Then go back and clean the rest of these up later. Just to make sure there's no more rooms I'm missing somewhere. So I kind of want to like run around with this, uh, this thing on while my sound's bugged, just to be done with it. But... Too, though. But I also don't know if there's going to be like another thing that opens up. I should just come back later, but let's have enough upgrades early too. I do need enough for the boat. I imagine I have to get all of the ingots to get the bow and the sword max. I 
like it's so odd the audio just gets fucked because of this thing. I bet a lot of people don't even know, they just leave it on and they're like, huh. The audio in this game is kind of shit, there's not much music and you can barely hear the ambient. Like it'll come back sometimes, sometimes quiet, just sometimes not at all, but... It's interesting because so much of it's polished the machine. Luckily, the parts that matter. But yeah, there's been a couple bugs. I've been done like weird zips and teleports and infinite falls and music bugs. And then obviously we've heard about These other bugs, right? 100% and shit. I didn't know secret walls were a thing when I was going through this area. It's possible there's some hiding around. Now you think... The thing is, this is not like a typical, like... Soten style map. Where like, you can just count the squares and be like, Oh, there's probably something here. There's one or two fog of war in this that I haven't been able to clear. Um, what was it? These are fine, I just didn't grab them. I don't know if you have to. This one. No matter how high I jump, I've not been able to clear that. I don't know if there's maybe like a secret room in there actually. It's always been there. You couldn't clear that, yeah. I was like, I don't think it is anything, but that's the thing is I used to find a word to tell sometimes. So. These are all things that I feel like could get fixed in a week or two. Not something that bother me too much. It definitely doesn't affect feel about the game. Nothing fundamentally fucked, but... It's a shame. Without the music and stuff, though. Like I said, that's why I kind of want to just use this thing right now. <clears throat> I don't know if that would be a secret. Probably not. So we can not worry about it. The music's kind of back now. I don't know what makes it come back. It's like phasing in sometimes. Who knows on the Xerxes too, and then it's even farther away. Or farther away, but this can't even be detected, I don't think. Unless there's like some point you can, but. Or so you'll definitely be the, uh. the test. Like I said, there might just be more. Maybe unlock at some point. Thank you. 
probably do this kind of clean up later. Some spicy hidden Xerxes. That one needed the whole fucking power and everything. Funny enough, I haven't seen the chest though. Now, I could count this place, and they're going to give me some free shit. There's also still a sacred, uh, or prophecy or whatever. chest too. I think it's the chest should be the easy ones. Or the treasures. Because I actually have something that is an indicator for them. It's the prophecies and collectibles and Xerxes I'd be more worried about. I happen to have most of those in a lot of areas. Well, shit, it's probably gonna- I bet you the fucking prophecies count as treasures, too, huh? It means I'm just mix, missing a Xerxes and a prophecy, maybe? No idea where the prophecy would be. Oh yeah, you got a spicy one. <clears throat> I don't think they've hidden any hidden or prophecies behind hidden walls, have they? Maybe I need to go back to the beginning of some areas. I was gonna look around here for some shit, but. Prophecies have any kind of like audio indicator in it? <clears throat> so the audio mixing is always so loud at times that I'm not actually sure. I think when you get like ultra close, they do, but I don't know if it's supposed to be enough to like hint anything. Okay, I already got this. They notice, yeah. Usually don't hear them either. Oh, 
this one. I went through this not that long ago. It's something really old. in the forest too. size. This was before I think I knew about a lot of the secrets. Okay, there is a secret was. With prophecies. Alright, so that's the end of that location. Soma Tree has a prophecy. It could be up in here. I haven't explored that yet, really. Not with the uh, zippy do. I don't think it would really make a difference. But you never know. So I have to turn in. I want to see if this actually ups the amount of treasure I found in the zone. I think it probably does. Like I said, I don't think I've been like doing very poorly about finding treasures. There's like stuff like the depths that was like kind of special where I kind of missed one or two. Usually it's fine, but I'll wear this thing anyway since prophecies and collectibles and Xerxes though. So. What can harbor? I don't know where this Xerxes is. Was there a Xerxes that was a bitch for you here to find? 
I mean, I haven't looked super duper hard, but it's a lot of ground to cover. Probably one hide in some corner somewhere. go back eventually. An obnoxious one. Yeah. It's not at the ghost ship, is it? That's a long ass fucking trek. I checked everywhere on the ghost ship I could, but. Flaming ship. I don't know if I found one the flaming ship. Maybe. We'll find out when I get there. But yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not on the ghost ship, I'll find it. You have to run through the entire fucking village for that. I thought it was much of a ghost ship either. I fought everything on the ghost ship. There was the fight that you go inside of it and then it like traps you in there to do shit. But yeah, maybe, I don't know. I only have one more lost warrior to find. So if there's one at the tower, then I must have got the guy. Might have been part of the fight chain. The last one I found I destroyed, so... Okay. Yeah, I'll probably look around again. There's plenty of places. down, man. Disgusting. These respawn. Crystals? I just must have never came back. Or I didn't smack him, or maybe if you don't collect the shit from him or something, they come back. It'd be weird that I would not. There's nothing in there. Or maybe that's all that was in there, it's just.
prophecy up here. Jim. I guess we could keep going until I get a ward. Little crystal uh, thingy. I like that they'll put like a little heavier duty secrets or just more secrets just for little platforming bits. This is kind of crystal sometimes, right? You don't need to find them all, but. It means there's something a little extra to find even if you're not. Even if you're 100%. Again. Sargon, my father, I see his face, I see myself standing there, my father is dead, murdered. I'm sorry, Vara. And I know of the other one, Sargon, you told me to control my power, and I did, but the other me, he didn't learn, he lost himself. Each of us has our own path to travel. It's the choices along the journey that decide who we are. But Sargon, I have no path. I leap across time, and yet I'm still a boy. I'm a traveler who can leap, and yet I'm still stuck in the same place. Maybe not, Varum. Maybe it's a path you can't see yet, a better one. Good morning. Mr. Innocent. This is connects back here. Here. 
surprisingly nothing. Start going through there a bit. So I'd like to clear up the rest of the areas. I thought about just maybe like cleaning up everything I could and then maybe continuing tomorrow. Should be able to finish tomorrow, I'd imagine. I just spend a whole stream on it. I can't imagine there's probably more than just this area left, and then cleaning up. Maybe there's this. I could see maybe like one more area. I don't know. Well, there's also whatever the hell that puzzle area is. I have to find all the the things. Probably won't do any another code tomorrow. I'll have to pre-mark the game is finished, because they'll probably send me Yakuza. They usually don't send stuff two days early, so I should be okay. I will have to mark it pre-finished. <laughs> Put it in the mail, but not actually do it until the next day. Turn off the treasure thing, but yeah, sure, yeah. Why not? Two hours, three. Okay, yeah. I figure this is probably the last area. And I can't imagine her thing is probably a whole lot. Yeah, it's really gonna depend on cleanup. That'll probably take a bit, but... I'm gonna imagine the last four lore pieces are in the Royal Corridors. And maybe even the last item. If you know, I don't mind. You can confirm it or if you want. All good if you don't. Lower City, I feel like it's the last two prophecy pieces. Xerxes, I don't know. I could give you a Xerxes. Oh wait, I could buy a Xerxes. I 
of that one chick. Look at that. The... Oh, the architect's room. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. I forgot about that. That she'd reward us. Maybe that Xerxes is actually for buying it at the Haven. And the Smith. The two treasures in the depths, though. Unless the uh, scrapper gets something new. Those I might have to actually just find. What a Smith does. We're done there. Armor. We find the Xerxes at sea. Then we got one more prophecy at the Soma Tree. And I think that's it. Oh, a prophecy in the lower city, too. Yeah, I think I... I thought I remember getting a treasure like that, too. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to fuck around with the depth. Maybe we'll do that soon so I can get a better indicator of how much I got left. I want to go till I get like a teleporter though. to take a huge trip back just to go clean up. Be smarter just to continue. Shortcut here. Could go till I get to that. You'd hope that this would wrap back around pretty quick. It's a fucking tower.
is this fucking Xerxes, dude? Fucking jump. There we go. Maybe there was another answer to that. I don't know. Shows like a whole thing underneath me, but. this what an odd bunch of crystals did <laughs> you don't have the fucking magnetized crystals it's like they're just fucking wasted man I guess it would be such a bitch to get it. these guys come from Too low, but you don't go too high. It's like harder than the actual zip line. I just not even touch the fucking things, so man. Good. Because he has some pretty high clearance or whatever when he does the jump. Oh, 
damage there, lady. Counts this as found, but I totally have not been there. I better go check it before I fucking miss that. Oh, yeah, I just thought you'd walk over here already. Oh. An explosion. I don't think I think I've been hit by that every time. And I came up here first, Jesus. Let's get close to doom. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Did you have to like run through the whole area again and then find it? Oh, that sounds like a pain in the ass. And then some. Maximum. something up there. camera sometimes I feel like could be I mean it gets pretty zoomed out but there's sometimes where it's like <clears throat> I'm almost going in fucking blind man. when you're doing drops I wish it would uh he wouldn't be he'd be near more the middle than the bottom when you're doing drops it's very rare it's like a big deal but it do be
All right, buddy. Yeah, I won't be on much longer than that. You have a good one, man. fun. It's smooth. The animations and the smoothness of the controls. Really responsive. So anything that looks annoying ends up being pretty, pretty nice once you understand what's actually happening. The only jank part is if you get kind of close to it, even without touching it, it still does that. So sometimes I'll just like barely lift the bottom or something and then it'll activate it and then it's, then it's a little goofy. But other than that, it's fun. Yeah, it's a very satisfying game. The good kind of difficulty. No, <laughs> I don't mind that thing. I think it's a... It's a cool little platforming challenge for platformers that have the ability for you to pretty much always be walking around spikes without ever touching the ground. Not Some platformers you touch the ground every two seconds, so it doesn't really matter. But I don't mind it. It's not like it's that special of a thing anyways. Like surely there's been some other platform where that's done it, I just don't remember. But yeah, I mean, that's definitely what they are. Absolutely. This increases the damage of arrows. I use dodge attacks a lot. I wonder if that's better. More arrow damage. I'm upgrading bolt eventually. I haven't found any prophecies yet. Jesus, what was that? Yeah, but I feel like an unacceptable one. Maybe I added new things here that no other Intervini has done, like the pictures on the map show up on that. And just like the controls and platforming and the pace of it all. Like it's a hodgepodge of other stuff, like Souls shortcuts and checkpoint recovery flasks and shit like that. It's all done pretty, pretty cleanly. I feel like. Now they threw enough of their own stuff on it that it's more of just an inspiration thing, not really like a like they're ripping. Here's the other thing, I mean these devs didn't just come out of the shadows too, I mean they did some of the better platformers. I still feel like that have been made a decade ago, which I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the things they're pulling inspiration from here probably ripped from that. So I think it's just kind of one of those deals.
That is some really strong execution. This is much like displacement mechanics and shit. But <clears throat> they're actually like super clean. He lost some time on locks and second trails. Giant balls. Was it all worth it? Only the moon understands the future. If there's a difference, I can't tell. You'll see soon. The night sky will reveal our work. The true moon will be there for the world. For your faith in me, I share with you the moon. And this token. Nice to now I'll Be a sky giving us a whole healing skyward. I hope you will take time to take in the true moon, my friend. You just jump. Is that, is that where it is, man? <laughs> you think you'd go to the night city? Maybe he'll be up here. At the top of the tower. Who knows? Based guy. Just to be going that way, but I wanted to see if there's some secrets. Don't want to miss anything. We already got to do a little bit of cleanup later. They don't get rude and hide some Xerxes around here. I'm 
like a place I'm not going to be able to see without just taking leaps of faith. to fight the general now too. Oh, we'll go back and finish that up in a bit. Myself. We'll see. Yeah, maybe not. It's gonna take forever to do that. <laughs> well, I'd like to get my heels back too. came from before though. Mm. I think I just didn't save it.
Up here still too? I don't think so. Get a checkpoint before we <laughs> get into a fucking other fight, man. You found me. You oh, that's found every Captain. head. Oh, that was every checkpoint. Every head. The Tower of Silence. It is ancient, older than legends. By centuries and centuries, the rituals are very secret. All must be done exactly in order. It's the only way to evade the demons and stop them from taking the bodies. Buddy, I don't know what you're saying, man. I think you're full of shit. I think you're psychotic. Full of shit. Perfect or something. I don't even know what I'm looking at.
Got no idea. Chakram from the right location, I got it. It's a stretch, but we got it. Let's go turn in these two <coughs> side quests here. A lot turned in, there's probably gonna be something happening. That's another thing to think about as well. This is a pretty, as far as like a Souls-like type of healing system goes, it's a pretty low amount of potions, but they're very powerful. Very quick. Like it kind of matches more the game speed. It's not about finding times to sit and like chug potions and weave that into your combat. You kind of just, it does take a second to do it, but that's not what it's about. You could have, you know, like 20 potions, but it only heals 30 of your health. And then healing is like a big consideration. But that would be fucking annoying. That's why even in like old soul stuff, it's like you still chug. You can chain chug. And man, I feel bad if anybody doesn't know you can chain chug. It'll take two, three times as long to do two potions at once. That prophecy. Yeah, I do that in this too. I can waste my change hug. Let's just go ahead and do this. It's fine.
got flash stones. Little does he know I've already got the maxed out weapon, buddy. Killed the big guy, the bow guy. Um, apparently, the assassin chick just kind of disappeared, or she turned into something. It was kind of not mentioned. We had to dig into it to even try to understand it. I don't know where the shield chick went. I have no idea. Um, the chick we were chasing's dead. The main bad guy is one of them right now. The Virgil guy. Um, there's one of them who's just like our guy's trainer right now because he's afraid to go any farther. This is the chaos, the time chaos and stuff. Because he's a little older. Probably just kill him outright. Um, Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. I don't know where the shield lady went. Said she sided with us and we never saw her again. Some shit pop up. Go well, General. down there originally boss area yeah I think a lot of them sided with what's his face the Virgil guy as he said our dude uh, killed the prince even though it wasn't true they all Understood when they died that that's not what happened. So I guess he's kind of bloody. Or at least the ones that we saw. Huh? Didn't get to see all. Of them. I don't know where this piece of prophecy is. Two more prophecy here. We got we got a fair bit of this level left, I guess. Not a shitload, but a chunk. Uh, some cleanup work. Just gonna turn this in. challenging, doesn't it? I wonder what I was thinking when I designed it. King Darius enjoyed such things. I hope I don't have to do this quickly. I 
I assure you it's possible, she says. At this point, if you figured out all these puzzles, that these have a number on them, and you put them in order, it's probably <laughs> the least stretch of the imagination you can have. On dialogue. Diamond thing, and then a triangle. The king's computer password, yeah. <laughs> His birthday reversed, because he's the king, he's smart. Goes above and beyond. Was I on eight or nine? I don't remember. We're just on eight. Pretty sure this is the last one. Let me double check. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I was beginning to think there was no solution. And there was a point where I wondered that too. I understand that you think some of my designs might be peculiar. I don't know that it matters if they are. Of course. <laughs> Maybe some of them were meant to kill someone. Truly my favorites, those. What I'm trying to say is... The city is full of marvels the world has never seen. I knew it! A gift waits for you in my workshop. Go on. Your voice AI too. Collectibles. Yeah, she built the city and everything here. Her King Darius. We should know the password. I think they're trying to make her an eccentric, crazy person. Since she made all the city, and everybody seems to be crazy here. It's probably not supposed to make sense. <laughs> Who knows? The music has been docked because there's a chest in here. Wish I wouldn't do that. My memories return. King Darius. Thirty years since he's been gone. I hope I've honored his vision. I wonder, though, if my work will be forgotten. The king had a vision for the greatness of the Citadel to remain across the ages. To me, he appointed the right person. He'd be impressed with the technological marvels. You know, you've given me a great gift. By solving your puzzles? Yes, but not only that. The real gift you gave me is that you took the time to interact with my work. You've acknowledged my life's dedication. For that, I will tell you a secret resonating through the buildings. And uh, what is it telling you? The Samore lives. Yeah, we, we know, and I, I don't care. May you find purpose. 
I do the <laughs> That fuck, you know, every time I hear somebody lose, I think of that fucking shitty mobile game commercial with the old lady being taken away by the police. And then on her hand it says, he lives to her, her daughter, not her husband or whatever. This <laughs> is so stupid. It's etched into my mind, man. Alright, so this area is done now. Good. I wonder if you use the max potion or the max health bonus damage. If you'd rather not have any extra max health because the potions can't keep up. I guess you just have to make sure you heal early now. It's fine. I do wonder if the speedruns do like a low damage or the extra power. You can also get more power from the scrapper, but it gives you like no health. Well, we got all of our Xerxes, so one more treasure, which might not be something we find. It might be something from a quest that we still have to finish or something. The prophecy though is hiding somewhere around here. Could be something goofy. I kind of wonder if it's like in the... I don't think it could be in the elevator shaft, maybe. Two chests in the depths. We're done in these places. We got one more Darius in the or not Darius. Xerxes in the sea. One more prophecy. The collectible. I don't know where this collectible is, but the thing about collectibles is they could be we literally anywhere. And then the rest of this zone. And that's it. I think we will finish. Smooth enough. She forgot some shit.
She is a she is a god, I guess. God smithing god or whatever. <laughs> That's all it takes. One good fucking smack. One janky animated smack, dude. Boom. Kahiva, do you remember me? Of course. My forge will always protect me from time's tricks. Events have started again. It's as if being trapped in a riddle. That is not the way to consider it. Events start again, while you continue. <sighs> True. I have memories of how things were, and how they could be. Because we missed a lot of dialogue with a lot of people. You really have to just kind of go talk to everyone after everything. I've ignored this lady because I could give two Welcome. shit. Welcome. Do you remember me? I do. You're the warrior on a somber journey. Promise me we won't lose our city. I don't know what promises I can make. Whatever has caused this recent change has caused my amulets to speak to me. What do they say? Nothing I can make out yet. It is significant, though. They haven't spoken in over 30 years. Hi, Sargon. Do you still know me? Don't worry. Not everyone forgets. Not like the mad alchemists. That's why they write it all down. The shift was very strong this time. I wasn't sure what happened, but then I saw your prince, uh... Hassan. Alive and well. Very gracious, too. So, you did manage a second chance? <laughs> Ignore. It's probably gonna be a boss at the top of this. I think I want to do that today. Well, oh, we can try to find the prophecy. Or I could take a break today. I'm actually, go clean up the depths. I want to do the trickier shit tomorrow. This will be our last piece of loot in this area. Other than the prophecy, I think we're done there. So I feel like the chests, I mean, are done in most areas, but they're harder to miss. That's why the depths is a weird one. Missing two, but it might be like Radla right said, there's weird ones that you have to break objects to get. Then I remember getting one like that. But... I'm more worried about finding the Xerxes and all that. Collectibles. So I want to do this place now. This might be the easiest. We'll see. not warn me that it's there. So much for this thing telling me where shit is, man. Fuck, I'm just to go all natural, man. I'm sure why that's temporarily open. Okay. Jesus, who knows where the last one is then if it's not actually going to be marked. 
point of the goddamn thing, man? It's like literally only actual chests. It's very specific. Sweepy. That rough sleep. I feel like these guys should stay dead. I can super Metroid. What was that? Zero mission. The guys you like shoot through, they're in zero mission. anything down here but I'm looking for one piece of treasure man I imagine she just hints you where to go next in the story. Since it doesn't really point it to you. To, uh, it does point you out sometimes where to go in the story, but not always. You'll have to see though. I didn't plan on making use of her services, but. I might. If uh, she does that. Probably at least see what her shit does. I mean, I know exactly where to go in the story, so if she just tells me that. Won't be a big spoiler or anything. I mean, I have a badge on right now that's supposed to tell me when there's a chest in the room. But we saw how well that worked on the last treasure. It only counts, I think, literal chests.
have to come from the other side. Change my respawn point. <laughs> Just because I walked in this room. Not what I wanted. I planned on dying. It'd be cool if uh, at this point in the game, maybe they do give you something. Who knows? I mean, there's plenty of fast travels, but they let you just travel between the trees at this point. Dude, dude, you can just grapple with everything. That's cool, man. Teleport I get, we could try the hat girl. Maybe she do be telling you.
You better hope, to, hope it's not another piece of freestanding health. I don't think that happens often. I can barely think of a time in the house other than just facing that. Let's see if there's maybe like a hidden prophecy in the elevator shaft. Shit. I'm pretty sure we've checked this up and down. Fast elevator, man. This is some pretty gnarly tack. Right. And falling asleep in my chair a bit. <laughs> the rest later. I'm not farming up all the money to get all these back. I do not think that is part of the 100%. <laughs> and I, I actually don't think it is part of the 100%. I those had this hundred or whatever and did not have everything upgraded. I'm upgraded quite a few as well. I mean, I'll upgrade, of course, my, my gear gear, but... So, yeah. Last checklist is one item in the depths, which... I think we're past the point of having side quests. I just checked every room with the treasure finder, which doesn't count freestanding treasure, which... Shit, it probably doesn't count stuff that's hidden in breakable objects, so... Might not be clear, but we're just gonna assume it is, and then... Check down here. Maybe hidden rooms. That's for the last chest there. Um, Lower City, I think the last chest is gonna actually be... Here. Last reward. It's rewards and chests, and items um, but prophecy has got to be somewhere maybe it's over here it's been a bit since i went over there and tested shit so. when we're collectible the sacred archives <sighs> no idea on this man those could be literally anywhere Done with the upper city. This is the story, which 
Hopefully we clear this place out, no problems. I mean, I've got all the abilities when I'm in there, so... The only thing I'd really be worried about is Xerxes, and we're almost done with those. And then one more prophecy in the cemetery. One more Xerxes in the raging sea. And I think I am too tired to continue. I don't want to, but. At least finish up the depths. I've come to enlighten you as promised. Okay, the chest is here. Good. It appeared on the thing. There's literally nothing to find, but like a double jump requirement or something. All amulets. Slightly increase asteroid buildup for each successful attack. Yeah, that'd be nice. Depths are done. of its beginning. Goodbye, Sargon. It's kind of the right idea. He just gets to hang out here. Nothing ever happens. Yeah, it's like an AI voice, I think. I guess that's the joke, because it's an eyeball. And I, AI, AI. Yeah, I hate it. It sounds really grating. <laughs> but it's just this like little light ball that follows you around in this one area. 
It's just supposed to be kind of an eccentric little thing. There's like little dudes that appear at trees randomly that have personalities. That's just one of them. The only AI TTS voice in the game, I think. Welcome. Pretty fucking, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty like in your face. There's sound here. I've never heard sound here before. Why now? Sounds oh, super buggy in this game. Yeah, that one does. I could almost see the fucking architect, because she's kind of odd. Wasn't intentional to make it sound like TTS voices. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Ubisoft just had them test it out. They've got their own little voice thing they're trying to do. Oh, placeholders. I could see that. Could be some bugged patches or something that need to be ran through. I think that one's more of just a meme one. Yeah, I don't know. No, if there's been others, I, I couldn't tell. There's some that have, like, odd personalities, but it's the one that sounds like, not really like an AI thing. But it, I mean, it's like a, like five lines or something. Right? Alright, so... Ooh, the archives. I don't know where the slower city one is. It's probably a hidden wall somewhere. An early area where I didn't know there was hidden walls yet. Raging Sea, One Xerxes. There's a Somatry Prophecy, Lower City Prophecy, Secret Archives Collectible. Raging Caesar is, and then just finishing this area. I'm hoping I just get this area done just all in one go, but we'll see. There's a chunk left, but we've gotten quite a bit of stuff. I'm worried about the prophecies though. Always am. Whew. Those are the harder ones. I don't know, I feel like I've been pretty thorough. I mean, there's some areas where it's like a little weird like here, but... I think they might just be coming. Anyway, like I said, I'm falling asleep. Though. 
I'm gonna stop for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Oh, damn, you get a full heart for this. So we don't got many prophecies left. I think it's just those four. Anywho, my current percent up. I thought said I only had like a couple hours left in the games. I think we'll finish tomorrow pretty smoothly. Eighty. A little more cleanup. And the rest of the game. I don't know what the actual game game will count percentage wise. I don't know if upgrading counts for anything. If it does, then this number's extra far. <sighs> Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Thank you very much. We'll finish this tomorrow. I think we're gonna skip another code tomorrow. Um, just, just to make sure I can get this done a little later tonight. Um, I think we could do some hours for sure, but I need to make sure this is done so I can send it back. And I get Yakuza. And we'll do another code.